I'm ready. ready. What a significant night this will be. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah, everybody's ready. Everybody's ready. Yes. I didn't get a yes from everybody. You think you're going to get to town? I'm ready. Oh, shit. I'm ready. Sorry. We're all on. I'm sorry. Hi, everybody. This is welcome to the League of Roses. In front of you sits the White Rose, a group of adventurers. Hang on. I'm not the White Rose anymore. Yeah, you're still the White Rose. No, not. He's dead. He's part of the dead rose. Well, you're not. He's not part of the White Rose. Well, the, well what? Fact, he's not part of the White Rose. Who? Fight. Oh, he's the Blue Rose, okay. practically. Yeah, blue. But he's generalizing the group that we currently are. Yeah, but I'm not part of the White Rose. Well, your guy isn't there yet, and he yeah. need not show up. If okay, you're... well, okay. There you go. There, there's the White Rose. <laughs> okay. Well, we have yeah, the White Rose, rose. plus... <laughs> A special guest wow. <laughs> from the Blue Rose. Wow. Yes, for the first time. There's so many. There's so many indications. There's so many different things that can happen with this one yeah. character. Yeah, yeah. If the Blue Rose goes by the pecking order, this guy is the leader and sole survivor. Of Wait a minute, Rose. you're getting into all that before. Yeah, you, yeah before we even. He's yeah, a wonder, yeah. This is horses this is a, a wonder of nature. Well, uh, well, we can talk. We'll talk about him when we come around to you. How's that? And you you can sort of introduce a little bit of background. We have a background question, but we don't know his name yet. We know he's Woodworthian, right? Yeah. Unless you guys know more than we know. Sarah knows. I think I, <laughs> I was there to help. Him. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, anyway, so let's start again. We have the white rose mostly to the right. And to the left, we have a member of Blue uh, the Blue Rose, right. because there are, in fact, more than one team of roses, and they're all different colors, including green, red, yellow, orange, things like that. The blue, huh? Violet. Violet. I, I don't know if there's a violet. There is a purple. Yeah. I don't know if there's a violet. Wait, isn't purple... Violet, or am I going crazy? No, it's not. Well, it's a different color. Purple is like a purple's little brighter. Yeah, it's a little Violet's brighter. It's a little redder, okay. I would say. Yeah. Um, okay, so so uh, what we'll do is our our, our team is uh, in Barovia, stuck in Barovia, and uh, they just finished uh, uh, working at the Fitted Off Manor where they had a special quest. <laughs> we didn't work there. <laughs> no, I, I, I did. I had to work. Oh, all the you other worked. People. Yeah. I thought. I thought you said we worked. At you the worked there. Well, you worked. You worked hard. But to, they didn't pay me. To you worked very they hard. They paid us in food. For you the fought crowd. very hard against That's the three-headed hound. And, but we'll catch up with that all in a little bit. And uh, uh, but first, what we like to do always is meet our players, who we all know and yeah. love. And uh, they introduce their characters, who we all know and love. And then we have a question that's a bit of a background so that we can learn a little bit more about the character. So we'll start with... Yeah, hi, my name is Michael, and I play the character Lazarus. Lazarus is a warlock. More specifically, he's a warlock who made a pact with the genie, more specifically a Tao or Earth genie. And that means he gets some special magic spells that are based around his uh, pact with the genie. And he gets some other warlock-specific spells, like... Uh, Elder Glass, which is like a common feature any world has. Do you have a, a spell called Dirt? I have one called Meltstone. So okay. Level. Do you have one called Mud? I have uh, Earth Spike. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I'm just wondering. I know you're you're dirt, so yeah. You're you're sand. What about Yellow Snow? Oh, wait, you're not dirt. <laughs> yeah. That would be frozen. He's not frozen. Yeah. He's, that would be dark brown dirt. Yeah, yeah, that would be uh, that would be bad dirt. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Dirty dirt. <laughs> okay. And uh, so our question is uh, for uh, Lazarus. Did you want to describe Lazarus, or do you care? Uh, I don't care. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Wow. You can tell he's rather offish. Uh, so, uh, you have a bucket list. What is one of your items from your bucket list that would get you in the most trouble? Uh, my character always wanted to pull a heist. Okay. So like a double, uh, like a, what, what's the most common double heist? Like double, some, some Ocean's 11. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Ocean's 12. Yeah, that yeah. Be. And what better way than the one castle in this godforsaken land? Ah, okay. So you're interested in a specific room, yeah, in a specific place. Ah. Yeah. So you're. Yeah, I so happen to have a ring that can 
you grab a lot of that stuff ah, out of that room. Ah. Somebody's looking for money. Mm-hmm. His characters always get lots of money and then they die. Yeah. Yeah. That's too Although, bad. And the danger in this part is that if he fails, he dies. Because he's going to be passing with Strahd. Um, how much does your ring carry? Do you know? I can... Is it like a bag of holding? Even a bag of holding can't hold everything, right? It's like bigger than a bag of holding. I don't oh. Know. Well, you look that up because, because uh, you know, you, you can start filling that thing up. I mean, you I don't even know what you, I know you have a dead body in there right now. It's dependent on the size of the bag of holding. The size of the bag of holding. So if it was a, uh, a ba- if it was a, if it was a hand belt, purse, it would be small. Be I see, a belt purse. of holding. A purse of holding. A if it was a bag of holding. Yeah, it also depends on how, how great the like construction is. Yeah. I thought bag of holding was just bag of holding. Could hold a certain amount. I don't even know how much, but Ooh. well, we'll look. At, huh? Like the two, smallest it can one hold can, two. A smallest one can hold like four feet of stuff. Only four feet. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Is there a table of bags of holding? Yes. Uh, thank you for answering me. Okay. It's. I was just a guess. Though. Yeah. I don't trust anything. I don't trust anything you say. No. It takes twenty feet by twenty feet. Yeah, that that would be along the bigger size. Twenty feet. But like the smallest feet. one, like if you had a that's a pretty a size range of holding, a tiny ring, and it was a shitty one, it could probably hold four feet. So that's four hundred. So that's basically half this room we're in. Probably yeah. So it's it's basically from like that 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 door over to here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably the. Uh, and then twenty feet up. Yeah, which is even higher than this. I think this is ten feet. So total. Wow. Okay. Sweet. Good to know. Yeah, you did. Can so you fit a dragon? Right now you got a body in there. You can fit it. You can't fit a dragon. No, it's too big. But you can fit it. Well, beautiful body. You can fit the You can fit the body. Fit the body. Not, not for long. Be, you can't help I can fit a lot of treasure. Not for long. I can fit a lot of treasure. You can't. You can't. You can't. What else is in there right now? You need to make you keep keep your keep your uh, itemized list. Uh, okay. You probably, do you have a list? I have some. There's a ton of bandages. Okay. So Stuff like that doesn't take up that. Body much. and a barrel. There's a barrel. Is there a barrel in there? Yes. Is there a bo- the bo- is the body in the barrel or is Yes, the bo- it, is, it, it is. Oh, it's that one mean, guy we brought back. We yeah. I did speak with dead. Yeah. Okay. And then there's uh, another body which is Grievous. Well, that's that that's uh, that's, that's that was just that guy's head, wasn't it? It wasn't the whole body, was yeah, it? Yeah, there's a there's like a barrel I took with it. Okay. It had, maybe it had steaks in it. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. You got to have to detail that, though. Okay. Uh, there's, like, couches and stuff in it. Just speak couches? Yeah. Okay. It's a good. Yeah. So you, it's a place for you to linger. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, 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 it's like my uh, home away from home. Is there a bed room in there? Is there a bed? Yeah, there's a bed. So there's a bed. Okay, now you're starting to fill it. Well, you're starting to fill it. Yeah, there, there's, like, two couches and, like, a... Uh, Sleeping there, like a so you're starting to fill it. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. That's good. Okay, you make sure you, you write that down. Okie doke. We'll move on. Yeah. You look like you were starting to space out. So I'm thinking. <sighs> thinking about what you want to say, or you think about how to fill that room. I, many things. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, welcome. And your name hi. is. My name is Richard, and I play the character Grutz Breaker. Grutz is a magical half orc bar wizard. You know. Not quite the holy man, but, you know, his very definite features are very much holy-like, you know, and Chad-like, long Chad hair, like. What's that long Chad hair, long hair, oh. and a beard that can move on its own, you know. The man with the Dorito body. Yeah, the man with the Dorito body. Okay. You know? Oh, that's the guy from uh, You could probably break Star a fucking... Wars. What? Yeah, yeah Kyle. On his abs. Kyle Ren's going to have a Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah. You could probably break a bat on his abs, you know. Yeah. Probably tank it. And he's gray. Yep, he's gray skin. And he's got tusks. He has tusks, yeah. He's got yeah. long hair. Yes. And you lost hair. some of your beauty, didn't you? I did. I yeah. lost a lot of my beauty. You lost a lot of your beauty. Now you're ugly. <laughs> I'm kind of ugly. Slightly of a little bit of a little bit of a very, horror, yeah. So now blood. you're going to scare people. I'm at nine. Slightly below. Yeah, that's, that's getting to the point. I was at 13. It's so fucking sad. Yeah, so no, guy, yeah, I'm going to be... Is There's a big difference. beautiful people on the planet. He's not designed to be such. Well... I think Lord Wartia... 
is having a very uh, is see, having a fashion see influence what, what, on these guys. Yeah. Everybody's seeing, wow, yeah. Jimmy Carlisle. Wow. Yeah. 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 Let's be honest. Wow, wow. this guy. Oh, this guy should not be. No, 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 you know what's really funny? I'm older, but. Out of, yeah. at almost everyone in this group are charisma based users. Yes, yeah. I know. Except I'm amazed. For yeah, yeah, I'm amazed. Only this man right here. Yeah. Is, is, is and I mean, I wouldn't have had high charisma if I, if I didn't have to. Okay. But he needs to. That was I would have had this guy have the lowest fucking charisma on the planet. You could just be a good talker instead of a good well, looker. Well, you used to. Uh, yeah. I don't even know if he's a good talker. <laughs> you had to, yeah, to, okay. to, to, to sacrifice a lot to be able to, to up the charisma. To do what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah. He had to have high charisma. All right. Well, let's go back to Grutz before yeah. we... we, uh, we we keep taking these left turns. And uh, so Gretz has uh, got a, a list, a bucket list. Yes. I bet Gretz even has a bucket list. He's, he's got a big one? He's, he's got a long one. He's got a long one. Yeah, long one. And on that long one, what is the thing that he wants to do that is going to get him in the most So trouble? one that's re that he could feasibly do here is he wants to eat a werewolf. Because it's like Schrodinger's, it's like Schrodinger's wolf, right? If he eats it, will it taste like human? Will it taste like wolf? Will he turn into a werewolf? Gretz doesn't know. Gretz thinks he might, but Gretz kind of wants to test it. What's Schroeder? Schrodinger. Schrodinger. Who's that? It's a theory, it's a theory where if you can't see something, is it currently at the same state? And then you put a cat in a box. Right? Is that cat currently dead or, or alive? alive? You don't well, know. Well, that's like a, you can't open the tree falls you, in the you forest. You don't know unless you open it. You, you don't know it. unless you open it. Yeah. And thus, right. Gretz won't know if a werewolf tastes like a wolf or a human until he tries it. Well, that's pretty... That's he also wants to pretty swim. adventurous, he I would say. He wants to swim underneath a frozen lake. Oh, there's more. Yeah. He wants to swim under a frozen lake. Yeah. How he far wants, under? I, I, you mean I, the, I, the, I, the top yeah. of it, right? No, under. I he wants to go under. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. called death. I'm no, sorry. There are people who are There are people who swim through ice. Yeah. Probably in trouble with people. Real, like in Finland or something like that. Yeah, like a but they set it up so they know where to go yeah. so they can get out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got lost. That's next, next time yeah. he they were all trying to break the ice. He eventually, he eventually finds the hole. Oh my god! Next time he finds that animal, do again. next time he finds the guy at the white lion, and he wants to ride the lion. He wants to do what again? I'm sorry. He wants to ride that lion that's trapped in the cage and. Uh, where? Press. The no. tiger. Oh, oh, oh. He, he wants to ride it. He wants to ride it. He wants it as an owl. I'm not sure what's in there yet still, right? Well, yeah. He yeah. said he sees what he told him. It's a ghost tiger. Yeah. yeah. He wants to ride it. He told you that. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ride it. Why is he told him? Maybe, maybe it's not really what's in there. Well, then he's a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> So we learned three things that Gretz yeah. wants to do. He, wow. wants to, if he wants to swing on a snake. That's not that big a deal. Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. Swing on a snake. To, yeah. But there's so many things he wants to do that aren't smart. That's, that's not a smart thing. No. 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 Anything that's big enough to hold him is not. That's going to be tough. All right. Next up we <laughs> Hi. have. Hi. My name's Sarah. I play two characters. My first one is N. Short for Nigel. He is a 87-year-old human paladin for the Church of Ezra. He's a paladin. Yes. He's got. Uh, He's old. Yeah, yeah. He looks like the Witcher. He's five foot four. He grew, he aged a little too, right? He's ninety. Not yet. Once he once he uses the healing potion or gets healed. Oh wow. Okay. So he's eighty four. He's eighty seven. He's eighty seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's he has a the good old ninety year old mark. And he has a uh, chassis belt. Yes. That's never removed. Yes. And he's got really nice armor now. Yes. And he has a helmet. Mm -hmm. So he's the true uh, fighter. Yes. He's group. the holy warrior. The holy warrior. That has the purest morale. And the boringest personality. Too. Until, but until he can saw, be counted upon. Until he saw the body of uh, King of Mystical Curry Forward the 23rd. In which he realized he's not as pure as I can. Sorry. I can't have sex. Yeah, but he had the purest sex. Uh, that stunned him off. He had marital sex, which is the purest sex. Do we need to? Do you guys need to roll to see who who is? No, uh, you can't be. You, no, you, you can't, can't beat in. King Rubens is the No, you can't beat in. In hasn't had any sex above. No, you can't beat King Rubens is the third. Unicorns only let the purest. The only reason he's dead is because he got transformed into Jimmy Carlisle. And the real question That's is, his did choice. he transform into Jimmy Carlisle? That was his choice. Or did Jimmy, did Jimmy Carlisle get transformed into him? Well, now we're I learning think about, maybe that witch showed me to learn about that when we get to you. Exactly. Oh, does he maybe use a restroom? 
I don't know. He was crying. He's, He's just crying. crying. He's just oh, crying. Okay. I, I, was, I was scratching his back. He's like. He's just kind of scra- crying right now. He's um, kind of bored and whatever. Okay. The thing on N's bucket list is he wants to be able to go into a candy store, take their free samples, and not feel like he has to buy something. <laughs> what a guy. That's a heinous fucking What a guy. Wow. <laughs> Man, yeah. I would do that. Every time he's always bought something because he's felt bad. Exactly. So yeah. when it's a free yeah. sample, try to say. So he goes into C's candy yeah. and they say, yes. "Would you like a C's candy?" Yeah. No. No, no, no. So no. He wants the sample. He goes in there to grab the sample and then leaves. Yeah, that's his bucket list goal. Just to be able to do that. He wants to. But I'm saying now, when he goes in, he he can't take. He it. he does, but he has to buy something. No, it, oh, he buys buy something it. else. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. That's pretty funny. Yeah. God, wow. Yeah. Okay, and <laughs> what a nutcase like this guy is! Is W? He's Ed's younger brother. He's twenty-seven what a years old. Bucket list. And he's a witch who deals with the spirits, so he imbues spirits into his weapons. Okay. Yes. And, and he's a uh, and is a brother, and he's yes. only 20, 27. I believe, six? Twenty-seven. Yes. Big age discrepancy. Yes, okay. sixty years apart. Sixty well, years. Well, it's not their fault that he's sixty years apart. Well, we didn't explain that, but we know. So we don't have to go into it. So, um, and he's the only brother that can read. He's the one with the uh, smarts. Yes. And the looks. Uh, not really. And is actually smarter than him. But it's okay. Don't, is that because well, has it, an eight it, intelligence it, and it, it, has a nine? And it wasn't what he concentrated on. No, he concentrated on his looks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and so. What is it that N has a bucket list? W has a bucket list, right? Everybody yes. has a bucket list. So what he was the thing he wants to do on that would list. be a, the, the, only two things or two things we, that would I be I didn't know we were allowed to have more than one. Yeah, These yeah. are yeah. his two main ones. Okay. The, the first list, one is he wants to sit yeah, but on like, a king's the throne. The question was what's the one that would get you in trouble the most? All, all of them technically could get you in trouble. Yeah, I thought that was the case too. I thought it was just one. That's eh, okay. I mean, Name you know. one thing on your PC. Yeah, we don't care. I don't he care. wants, yeah, he wants okay. to sit on the throne of a king. Oh, you gotta go with work here. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> and be the ruler. Well, that, there you go. That means any old king. Yes. Yeah. All right. Wants to know what it feels like. Yes. And then his second one is he wants to steal Baja Blast from the Baja Blast right now. Ah, there you go. But first you gotta find him. Yeah, he has to find him. Such a mythical creature. Yes. I don't know. Is In the Bob Blast Wars. Grush can't take time to see him. He's like the kind of guy who gets on that. He uses his taxes. Can we yeah. move those? I'm afraid of the candle. Thank yeah. you. That's a good thing to move out of the way anyway. It kind of takes up. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Well, those are, yeah. those are. I think those are obtainable. Mm-hmm. Grush would probably, probably die from half of them, but it's I think that's obtainable. All right, so last time uh, your character died. Oh, yeah. So you'll have to talk a little bit about that. So go ahead and introduce right. yourself. Uh, and I'm kind Mike. Of... I played uh, Junior Carlisle, who uh, was technically King Rudimeskis, will trace a little bit of the 23rd, but he got transformed to Junior Carlisle due to uh, uh, someone in another dimension fucking up and fucking around and, uh, you know, wrong place, wrong time, kind of shit. Can you do me a favor and say his name slowly once? King Rudimeskis Voltorius Woodward, the 23rd. There were 22 before him with that name. Yes. There are all kings before him, too. There has Rudimeskis? Only been, Rudimeskis. There, yes. There has only been, uh, uh, for the past 23 kings of Woodward here, they have all been named Rudimeskis Volturius Woodward. Volturius. What yes. kind of, what, okay, so that's a Woodworthian name. Huh. Yeah. All right. So he's dead. So, so they, they, yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, hoopla that's going to be happening with work here right now. There's not a they there's not a King Rudim- there's not a Rudim- there's not a Rudim- there's not a Rudim- They feel yeah. an emptiness in the forest. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, this will what happened if Mike, home. Mike, if some random woodwork just gets pregnant all of a sudden? The, the, I mean, is the immaculate the conception for yeah. the next team. Yeah, for the next that's the question though. But but there is technically a lineage that that, that, that that could be taken. So, so is that name a title more so than the name you're born with? What? No, he was born as king, as Ru- not not king. He was born as Rudimeskis Volturius Woodworth. Does I know for so some, some a a son, for some historical being? family, you would inherit a name. Now, all of these people are related, right? Technically, yes. All of the Woodworthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All of the same last name. Doesn't inherit their like. Doesn't inherit their incestuous or anything. The character I am is 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 
His mother so, was a woodworking, and his father was not. Okay, so to, let's we'll put a bow around Jimmy Carlisle. He <laughs> he 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 was gross looking. Yes, he was two hundred. 2,200 pounds. Morbidly obese. Two, 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 two foot four. Two foot four. He had pubic hair for a mullet. Yeah, yeah, pubic he, hair had, mullet. he had a googly eyes. He had googly eyes that he hid under sunglasses. He had a piece of meat that he hung around him yeah. and chewed on it all yeah, the time. That's gone. Um, he was hairy. He had big fucking he feet. Fucking and, and so all of that changed and he died. Yeah. And he turned into this beautiful, most beautiful, beautiful man. Yeah, it's, it's like looking at a, 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 a Christian depiction of an angel, huh? Okay, so he was like, it was like angelic. Yeah. And uh, you, you knew by looking at this man, you wouldn't have been able to beat him. Nobody. So, well, so, so, so was, man, so was he just like Henry? Look like Henry Cavill? Yes. yes. So sure. it's, it's a good thing he's Henry. Henry is a little stout. But there's obviously, obviously there's a reason why he why he right. was transformed into this little. So guy. he's like, he was too powerful, obviously. So he, okay, okay, so somebody came along, his wife, or somebody changed him into this ugly thing. not his wife. Who changed him into this ugly thing? The, there's just the universe in general. Technically a hag in a dimension. What was he, was it, it was a curse, right? Yeah, it's technically a hag in a dimension. He got cursed for being too perfect, basically. Because huh. in an alternate dimension, Jimmy Carlisle fucked up. Oh, okay. So yeah. the other, the other, uh, they, they did a weird, a, a okay. weird body swap, soul swap. Kind okay. Of shit happened. And he paid the price. Yes. He, so, so being too perfect, he paid the price. So to put the, the put the period on Jimmy, Jimmy's dead. Yes. Uh, Jimmy was killed by the three headed hellhound, yeah, death hound, in the maze. Yeah. And his body was sucked into the ring. By Lazarus. Lazarus, for some reason, wants to keep a dead body. All right. Might make you wonder a few things. Okay. A little so now we come to the quandary of we don't really know who your character is yet. So technically, unfortunately for King Rudimeska's will carry his little worth the twenty third. He had a, 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 a his firstborn was a daughter. So he didn't name her Rudimus yeah, yeah, Woodward because that's not a girl's name. He yeah, named her Ruby. That's okay. Uh, it, however, his his second child was a boy who he named Bob. So he was Rob. He was Robbie Woodward technically. Oh, okay. All right. But so, he got exiled because he's Robbie Woodward. He robbed people. He was he was always stealing stuff. <laughs> okay, <laughs> following Woodward. it so far. So, what does that have to do with our new guy? Oh, no, nothing. Okay. No, nothing to do with him. But right. the, the, the point is that there's, there's, uh, uh going to technically Not our vacuum. Yeah, uh, Woodworthia is going to have You know what's going to happen? Gonna happen? Someone's going to try and go right for right the now. first daughter. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I, guess, I guess technically Randy Woodwork could be next. Wouldn't, like, wouldn't the first daughter have to have the same romasculous name? Or Mike. No. Mike. Because he died. He didn't have Mike. a wouldn't Mike, wouldn't, Mike, wouldn't the firstborn daughter's child be named King? Woodemeskit the 24th? And that would technically be Randy Woodworth. But he also had Rudnick Woodworth, Rudolph Woodworth, along with Robbie Woodworth. So they're all going to try and fight over the power now. What was the names again? Rudnick Woodworth. Rudolph Woodworth. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> all right. So that leaves a mess. I was supposed to be Sylvester Stallone. Sarah so, asked me about that. So that leaves a mess at home. However, the Woodworthy clan. Oh, it's Rocky, Rocky Woodworth. Yeah. That's supposed to be Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, yeah, I like that voice. I wish you were yeah. using it, but so because I could see could that been, that could, could really come in handy. Could have been a monk. I, I wouldn't understand a single thing he would say to me. <laughs> well, yeah. We did. You spy out of budget. That would be great. See, that would be great. Be a bad guy. I'm a budget. <laughs> I wanted you to do this. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I wouldn't. I couldn't stay in character. I wouldn't stop laughing if you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you miss an opportunity. That's for damn sure. You just say the rest will happen. Well, you know what I mean. United States. There's only so much he can say, you know. Who would be the smartest guy in the 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 Wow. Yeah, You're just teasing us too much. Know, Bill. <laughs> You're teasing us too much with what you could be. So so with all of that. Empty void and all of that problems at home. Yeah. There are still Woodworthians prolific enough that you've got enough Woodworthians that some of them have. <laughs> yes, so many Woodworthians. So there's so many Woodworthians out in Ravenloft. So fortunately, there there is a Woodworthian who was all another Woodworthian. Little did everybody know. Part of another one of the Roses in the League of Roses in the Order 
of the blue rose somehow because these heroes come in and out, they die or they, they leave. Or they, yeah, they get no angry. Yeah, yeah no like hives leave like bear traps and Woodworthy. Yeah, yeah, he's one of them. No, he, he, he's clearly out. He no, it's yeah, kind of a funnel. It's the way to get rid right. of all those Woodworthians. So, yeah. you're, so you're eventually going to run out. Eventually you run out. He's just trying to do his best. He's doing his best. There's a lot of Woodworthians. There's a... Highs has, he opens the door. <laughs> when did Jimmy come? He opened the oh, door and he's another notch in the belt, another Woodworth. Gone. Book, and this, is, book, this was a big one. Yeah. This was King Rudimentary yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. Erasmus. Yeah. Erasmus. Yeah. Erasmus. That's a big one. Yeah. 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 It's like it's the book of grudges. They cross out grudges of Woodworth. The tree yeah. and the branches are starting to wilt. Yeah. They're, they're, they're all going away. No, no, so, it's okay. The, the, the branches are strong. Yeah. Well, he's trying to cut one at a, or two yeah, at a time. He's so he's, he's loaded up. The bloodline is basically he's, 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 he's definitely well. loaded up Barovia with with a couple of knowing that they probably yeah. aren't going to make it back. So knowing all this, we don't have a name yet. We don't know much about you. We can either learn about your character now, and you can talk about it a little bit, or we can do that in character in game. Okay. Okay. I well, there, there's a, there, yeah. What do you think? Uh, what do you guys now, think? Lowe's now, Lowe's now, Highs Layers. Lowe's now, Highs Layers. Okay, now. Now? All right. Well, I'll just tell you a little bit. Okay. Uh, I now play. Ah, it is a great little one. Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Reedy Woodward. Yeah, the Reedy Woodward. He reads a lot. He reads a lot. Yeah, okay. He has a book in him. He's like a book nerd. <laughs> Okay, carries a book. You should see the picture, Andrew. <laughs> okay. Are you in a wizard? Yeah. We'll have to show it on camera. He's a sorcerer. He's not really a wizard. He calls himself a wizard. Oh, God. He calls himself a wizard. He's, he's, okay, put that on camera. <laughs> oh, shit. He has meta magic. Here, put it on camera. You guys will be able to he see it. He has meta magic. Can you see it? Oh, you can't see it, can you? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, I can see God. it. Yeah. He's... All right. Hey, <laughs> look. He looks a little bit like a. He looks a little bit like a Fuller Brush man. Okay. He wears a fedora. Yeah. He wears a light blue fedora with some clouds on it, and he has a. What You have to pick. Isn't it by points? You could just use whatever you want from the list. There's a couple of teams. Are you talking about a bloodline? No, meta magic. No, the meta magic. You just pick. You could just use your points from the list. Yeah, I might be taking from the top of these guys. Yeah. They, they can't fully stick with It's that. just a list that you can spend your points with. Yeah. He wears a purple cape with a yellow lightning bolt on it. It's a little bit of a All right. And uh, so. Uh, what else have I got? He, uh, he, he looks like he wears glasses. He yes. Give, give us a little physical description. Uh, he's a big skinny man. He's not very tall. He's six foot two. He's only weighing 139 pounds. Very different from, from the last guy. Yeah, you went from this to this. Okay. He's a big you went from an eraser to a pencil, I guess yeah. is what it is. Okay. If, 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 if you can pass me, long, so he's long long like long. got high water pants. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Be godly. You need to see uh, his spells. He has daggers with him. He has daggers with him. Uh, his he can use daggers. His famous quote is, while you have you said his face like you take a two and a half turn. He's a leather sorcerer, Richard. Say that again. So say that again. What do you pick, Rain? Big oh fucking rain. He picked oh pick rain and you picked dirt. So he's actually got good spells. I have to be honest. He's 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 pull, between rain. the two of you, you got mud. It's a, uh, he's, he carries two. Are you going to get a lightning bolt when you hit five? Uh, he's, he's got lightning. He's got he's got frostbite. He has a lightning bolt. He can create a lightning bolt for you. He can create bolt. He can create water. <laughs> He can shape oh water. Uh, he does have a hands on Scorcher. Uh, gusts of so fire. Uh, he has Snowball Storm, Absorb <laughs> Elements, Earth Tremor. Oh my god, oh, that's <laughs> funny. He's a level with them. He's a level with them. What a level, yeah. He's got At what level is this? I three. said three. Okay. And you're level three, too, correct? Uh, I'm four. Are you a four? Okay. And the other two are fives? Five, yep. And W is a four or a five? A five, and N is a six. 
Okay. I want to buy a fedora. <laughs> I don't have a fedora in real life. <laughs> He's gonna wear a but your fedora has clouds oh, on yeah. it. He's got a light blue fedora and clouds on it. So they go with the weather. What a dick. He wants okay. to go get the weather leak face. The top one he has. The case is broken. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't want the he didn't want the whole way to have the star. He didn't want to be the weather weather, you fool. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's your fault. <laughs> and the dude would break you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this this this, this yeah. game's gonna be fun. You can tell. <laughs> It's gonna be it's fun. Like, it's adventurous because now I can't stop laughing. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be fun. Okay, it, 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 it makes sense now. <laughs> I don't know how he has makes sense. I don't know how this guy has 19 curves. Makes sense. Wait, <laughs> he's got it. He's got clouds on a fedora because he doesn't want to. Why he bolts on a long point? No, he doesn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want moons and stars. 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 He doesn't want moons I can make it faster than any water. Yellowish! It is now! Well, he he may be the most important character we've had. Because changing the weather is a big deal. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Most, most of his tricks will, 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 will be uh, hey, not true. He won't notice them. Dude, he can piss off Thrive by giving him a rainy day. <laughs> 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 I saw him move the clouds! The sun shot before you! Okay. Alright, so uh, he invoked his powers though. Uh, uh, one day when Worthy was being uh, hit with a, with a horrible storm, uh, and he was watching at the window. Uh, the, the, the window had cracked open, opened it, and he leaned in the window and almost fell out of it. Oh my gosh! Uh, so he almost fell out of a window and made a storm, which invoked his powers. And it invoked happened. his powers? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, as he was falling out of uh, Castle okay. Woodward. Okay. And I was falling out of Castle Woodward. All right. That's All right. why he's a weather wizard, because it, it brought The weather power. wizard. Okay. It, 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 that's why he's a weather, weather wizard, because he, he realized that, oh, he must have been the cause of the weather. He must have been his latent powers. <laughs> so, he, so he decided to join yeah. up. <laughs> with the league of roses to change weather. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's not right. What a motivation. Okay. Why? Okay. 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 That's a good introduction. Okay. Um, so yeah, you've given us a good background on him as as a player and such. So that's good. Now, of course, you're in, when we get to this point in in, this in the game where. He will introduce and talk about himself, and it'll be fairly quickly. We will ha we won't have to go through that again. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay. Okay. He would be the most important person ever. <laughs> okay. Because yeah, there, there might be a reason why he's the survivor of the Blue Rose. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Just imagine. I, uh, I came up with a different storyline, but that's okay. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Okay. So I think. Uh, instead of answering the question, that background will just suffice for you right now. I, mean, we'll, I, I have an answer for the do, question. Do you want to answer? Sure. Okay, sure. The one thing on his bucket list that would give him a lot of trouble that he really wants to deliver. He really wants to keep a book from the library and never return. He wants to keep it. Okay. For himself. Okay. Well, if they find out, they'll know. Yeah. They'll see it on his That sounds it's a lot like... Like the candy thing, <laughs> not not uh, not uh, turning in, not paying for, paying for the candy. Oh my God! Okay, keep it, keep it the card. It's the okay, well that's perfect. All right. There's only one name on it. And his name is Reedy. Yeah, Reedy. Like he reads. Okay, I mean, like Reed Richards, Reedy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Technically, right. it looks like it says ready. The way you, but oh my read, god, my eat. stomach hurts. I haven't laughed like that probably in six, seven years. 
That was oh funny. my god. That's pretty fucking funny. That's, <laughs> it's all about the hat. It's and I just fedora. Yeah, the fedora, yeah. <laughs> okay. You want to make it a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stands on the ground. <laughs> okay. All the women will notice his fedora. <laughs> That's okay. He wants a I don't know why it tickles me. It doesn't seem to hit anybody else, but that's fine. Okay. All right. So uh, we need to do a recap from last time. We had a lot of things happened. So uh, who did the last recap? Do we remember? Ooh, you did? So it's my okay. turn. So we're going to let wow. Richard. So coming up to the start of this thing, we ended up in the manor, you know, everyone except for Lazarus. Fitted off manor, yeah. Yeah, fitted off manner. The only one who wasn't there was Lazarus. We f cleared up the mirror room from last session, so we moved on outside, and then we moved on to the outside area of the fitted off man manor. And we messed with the stone statue a bit, nothing happened. <sighs> then we grouped up with Lazarus, Lazarus joined <laughs> us, and we went into the maze. Uh huh. And then and when we went <laughs> to the maze, and we when, followed. And when you came out, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. little did you know you were going to. Find a man with a fedora. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, okay. we followed the lead of um, greatest hunter to ever live. Yes, yes. you did. And he led us right to the monster. Right to the monster. Yeah. He led us right, right to, to the monster. He didn't waste any time. He used his natural hunter's instinct and to find so his we, he's he's out out he was We prey. used our natural hunter instinct and fought it. And he died in one go. Exactly. Okay. Could have been worse. And then we, worse. we spent a long time fighting it. A lot of us nearly dying or going down. We finally killed it. And then we continued the exploration of the caves, returned both of the crests of the, of the maze. We delivered both crests to the, each fountain in the maze, one on the left side and one on the right side. And then we were finally able to open up the crypt area. Okay. Which where we went down to, we managed to convince the ghosts that we were going to not her, her, steal her treasure. And that we were going to return her body there so she can rest in peace. There we go. Then we returned nice her body. She basically went at peace. Her ghostly image disappeared. And then as we exited, it turned out to be daytime by that time. Mm -hmm. And then when it hit daytime and went outside, it seemed everything reversed the night before the murder happening. Murder happened. And we went into a conversation with the madam of Fitted Off Man Mansion, which I don't remember her name of. Marilina. 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 And we managed to convince her of everything that transpired to where she actually remembered what happened. And we finally managed to do what we came there for, which was to get food supplies for the town press. Okay, good. So she's agreed to help feed the town yep. because the town's supply of sheep are gone. Yep. Very good. In, in that time, you also learned that Dimitri, the burgomeister from... <laughs> sorry, from... <laughs> From uh, Kresk <laughs> had been dating Lady Marilena of Fidatov, and there had been some. Uh, there had been some. Uh, I guess you what you would say is she was a widow, a, a, a woman who was concerned about her treasure. Right? Anybody and everybody, she thought they were after her treasure. But once you convinced her, she and you changed the curse. She got rid of the curse. Yep. To thank you, she is. Doesn't have anything that she can provide to you because, because it's all so cursed. Yep. So she is going to help with the town. So she has directed her, one of her envoys, to take you back, um, and they are going to provide some basic, um, some basic livestock as you go back with them, of sheep and some goats. So there's a couple of uh, sleds that are behind you that are horse drawn. And you're allowed to ride in a horse-drawn sled as well, um, nice. along with Remington, who is her envoy, uh, who is going to talk to Dimitri, and he's going to explain everything of what's going on. Okay? So we're just going to have you guys return. Um, you're in a... Kresk is in, up in the, the hills above Lake Zarovich, and it's in a very highly elevated area, so there's lots of cold and snow. Is there anything that I missed? Michael? No, I was saying, was like, was there like a chest to like the east or something like grass that we we're supposed to look for? Um, could it potentially be at the manor? 
No, I know that there's one that's supposed Everything to be. at the Manor's Curse. There's yeah. one, but I believe it could be a... Um, Everything at the Manor's Curse. The Abbey. Oh, okay. Yeah, we believe the Abbey has it. Every, I presume everything, every item of worth in that manor is cursed. What you seek lies in a town far to the west in a treasure chest beyond the confines of the land. Look under the gaze of the morning light. So you're, okay, Look so this is a good point. So you're going back to the cards and the readings from Madame yeah. Ava. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's a good discussion. So what was it that it said? Under the eyes of the morning light. Look under the gates. In a town far to the west, which is this it's town. Probably the, the, the monastery. The monastery. Yeah, where the abbey, abbey is. Where the abbey is. So read it again. What is it? What is what it? What you seek lies in a town far to the west in a treasure chest beyond the confines of the land. Look under the gaze of the morning lord and his reach yeah. for the dawn. Beyond that's, the confines of the land. The morning lord will most likely be at the church area. Yeah. So it's probably buried somewhere in that. Maybe a graveyard or something. Yeah, it says beyond the confines of the land. So I'm assuming in the ground yeah. somewhere. <clears throat> okay. Maybe so. So you're going to make your way back to um, Crest. Yep. This is basically Crest that I've got on the screen. So it's uh, just an example of the snowy nature, the town. Um, these this this building here looks more like what I think. Mostly they, they show the houses made out of sticks and stuff like that, but I see them having a little bit more thatched roofs and things like that. And as you know, Crest is basically like a commune. So just to revisit it, there's they've got about 300 people in this commune. The people all take care of themselves. They grow foods. They tend to their own animals. They they are fairly well fed people versus people of Velaki or even obviously the village of Barovia where people are you know just basically fending for themselves. Yeah. And this more or less is a group of people that work together. And you even helped to to rectify some things like cutting the branches that were sticking over the uh, the gated the stone wall that protects them. This area is, um, they've, they've talked to you about it, and you know this is an area that's very uh, dangerous, not only because of the weather, but because of a lot of beasts. Uh, of what? Yes, yeah. Yeah, that may be a little different. That may be a little, little, little tough in Barovia. Uh, it's very cold right now. With a little bit of it now, one degree warm. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll go with that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big wave. Um, so you make your way back in the morning. You're well rested. Everybody's okay. Yep. So um, at the gates, um, they recognize you. They talk to you. Um, they do their regular test of, of checking who you are, but they're pretty familiar with everyone. And so they Wait. allow you to come in. Well, what is that check involved? What do you mean? Silver dagger. The check is the same basic check. Yeah, it would be them throwing oh, down. Oh, he drew I'm gonna, I'm gonna, He's going to fail the test. I'm going to tell, I'm going to have my imp carry me over. Okay. He's going to fail the test because of his, uh, his Halloween card. Okay, so you're going to have to explain a, a little Dude, bit. Dude, I can't even hold silver coins anymore. You're, so you're allergic to silver, right? Yeah. Silver is going to give you, silver allergy. it's going to hurt you, yeah. right? Yeah. So as you approach the gates, you tell me, what do you do? I'm going to hide in my ring and have my ink carry me over. Okay. And follow the group through. Okay, so you're just going to disappear. Yep. All right. Happened the first time. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so uh, as he disappears, um, the gentleman that's in the, 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 uh, uh, the, the sled with you, named Revington, is is uh, sitting and he's kind of you know riding with you and he's kind of looking at you and Lazarus is, suddenly is gone yeah. <clears throat> and he's going to you can look and see he's befuddled and, wizards am I right I could do that too magic people you know I could do that too well that's pretty good guys <laughs> he's gonna say oh oh, oh I see uh, want to see he's one of those you want to yeah, see me do it oh, okay you want to see me do it. Uh, sure. I'm going to jump out of the sled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did he go? Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah uh, he's, he's pointing down at you. He's down there. I'm burying myself. He's actually down, down there. He's in you. But he's gonna, we'll, we'll let him believe. We'll, we'll pretend. Okay. So, um, all right. So you're escorted inside. You guys are led inside. The walls are opened up. The gates are opened up. The guards come down. 
after the test and they uh, close the gates behind you and uh, they are immediately, Remington gets off and he begins to speak to the guards and says, uh, I would like to talk to Dmitry Kreskov. I need to see him as does, I believe, these people who will explain why they are uh, here with me and why we have brought these, these foods. And as he's speaking to the guards, people are noticing and they're coming and running up. And they're seeing and noticing that there's some food now. There's there's some you can definitely hey, hear. Hey, we brought hear, food, guys. Yeah, you can definitely hear some sheep. They they push the sheep and the goats along beside the 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 sh um, sleds. So uh, oh my goodness. Okay, so um, one of the guards, uh, who, Igor, says he presents himself. My name is Igor. I will take you to. Uh, uh, Dimitri's home, and uh, he he welcomes you. He says, "Welcome you to the right white rose for your return." Thank you very much. You gonna go? Go ahead. It's up to you. Okay. Well, it's like we'll just continue. Okay. And yeah, he'll be okay. There he is. Okay. So uh, as you guys are getting off the the sleds and stuff, and kind of reorientating yourself and moving around through the village. Um, Darvich comes out and uh, he says, Lord, the white rose, it's good to see you all. You have returned. You yes. see you have returned with food. Yes, we brought food. And uh, good news. You get it. I see. That is fantastic. Yes. Very, very good. He says, uh, um, uh, Dimitri is... Uh, is he feeling is, better? Is, ...is in his home. Uh, he says uh, they have taken Anna to another uh, building and she is under house arrest. But Dimitri has started to lift his spirits in terms of, you know, he knows that he has to take care of yeah. everybody here who is, you know, dependent upon his leadership. You know what lifts my spirits? Alcohol. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I'd like to be able to offer that to you uh, later in my uh, yeah. inn. Uh, but I think you should go see him now and yes. uh, let him know of uh, your success. Uh, um, so Igor uh, the, uh, is, is guiding Remington uh, in, and he says, Igor says, uh, relax in the Donovich house while I take this man in to meet with Dmitri and discuss the terms of uh, their assistance from the Fedotov family. Okay, okay. so, the, so uh, Donovich says, Please come into my uh, come into my home, and uh, he so he asks you basically um, in in his home to relax, and he, you're at the end, and then he's going to provide you some cider all around, Thank you. and he's going to ask you you know what happened, and you don't have to go into that here. We can just say that you tell him about all the things that happened. Yeah. You can explain. You know, Jimmy is no longer with you anymore, and you can explain, um, you know, the terms and things that happened to you. How far deep do you want to go into it? I'll just tell him everything. Uh, I'm going to pop out of the, uh, my room on there. Okay. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. He's kind of used to you, I guess, okay. coming in and out, in and out. So um, he says... Uh, so you did all this, and uh, there is no reward. No. 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 No good. I guess the food you. was the reward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. He says, uh, "Well, this this crash owes you uh, its life, its very existence. So uh, I I am willing to provide you any time you are in this area. Uh, obviously, a place to stay, uh, you. having helped us with Lucas." And, and everything that you've done, mm -hmm. and uh, also, you know, any information that you may need or want. Um, he says, oh, you should be aware, uh, while you were gone, uh, we had uh, the white rose, the, the blue rose has uh, appeared. Oh, the blue rose. The blue vampires. rose came to the gates. They're vampires. Uh, well, actually, um, only one, one. Oh, okay. Only one. And uh, he has been with uh, Dimitri for a, a day. Did he pass the vampire check? Or the well, he came through the gates, so yes, he did. Okay. 
So uh, it will be interesting for you to see your comrade. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's yeah, I thought they were all dead. Yes, I, I know. I'm right. dead. <laughs> ah, funny, funny. Yes. Uh, he says, uh, I, uh, I wish I could offer you more, but the town will... We'll talk. Perhaps no, we can. Problem. We can. Uh... Logic is good enough, I think. Yeah. Is there any anything I can help you in terms of questions? Um, do you know a place? What are you going to do? What are you going to do next? Uh, uh, we're going to talk to the abbot. Abbot. Are you? I deal with the issues with the abbot. Yes. Issues. Yes. Okay. We're he's the, he's the one that probably created the monster that ate all the sheep. Yes. Him bringing people back to life is probably what yeah. caused it. Well, uh, yeah, you know, I, I suppose so. I, if you fucking, I, I don't know how to do that. So I, I assume there are uh, pros and cons to to resurrecting the dead, like eating someone. Yeah, yeah, it's bound to happen. He does it a lot around here. That's for sure. Who the fuck else is the goddamn Walking Dead? Well, uh, they say that he has a he, he has resurrected uh, other people. Holy shit! I've watched them. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he, he has the power. Yeah, but what happened if the people he has the power from like the morning, that kid though. that was eating people and sheep? That was an unfortunate incident. But then could it have happened to other ones? I don't think Anna will survive it, even though her defense makes sense that it was her child. So, so what? What were you going to ask? I'm sorry, I interrupted. Um, do you know of a place where there's a statue of a morning lord? The morning lord would it be in the Abbot area? Uh, no, actually, that's an easy question for me to answer. Uh, long ago, St. Markovia herself built this uh, abbey that you see above you, this this, this uh, fortress, and she resided here. When it's she... Not, yeah. What's wrong? It smells really bad. Yeah, it smells bad. All of a sudden, I think Rufio might have taken shit, like right outside the door or something. Should we look? <laughs> right. Really? It smells really bad all of a sudden. Yeah, I was sniffing it. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> I was like, I was like staring at like, huh, what the fuck is he? <laughs> I saw you and I was like, I hope he doesn't think it's me. <laughs> That's why I was like, no. <laughs> does it smell bad? I was looking at to see if you were fucking looking around too. <laughs> I was like, are you, am I the only one that's smelling this shit? No, it's a little shit. It, it, <laughs> it hit quick, the it smell. It quick, god damn. It penetrated. He fucking up. smell. This shit smells. God. I can't believe you're going to eat with that smell in here. That's disgusting. Just, uh, it doesn't taste me. Doesn't it make the food taste like it? Nope. It have a food taste is the smell. No, my, it doesn't. Mike has a point in half of the taste. Did he guys do your seed codes? He's just so disgusting. He's, he looks like a can't believe That poor little guy takes the worst shit ever. Yeah, you don't mind. I mean, it's okay because he's just a little guy. You don't know any better. He's just like, you can go to the bathroom. Mike was upset because I was eating while it smelled. Yeah, she's <laughs> eating while it smells like fucking ass. I don't know how she's doing that. Well, some people just have a much better time. I'm with Mike. I can't, I can't eat with this. I think I'd start jagging. I have a stroke stomach. <laughs> she, I gag That's a good thing for you, right? Do you cat, want to open the door? Uh, for a little bit? Fresh air? I'm fine cleaning up cat shit. Cat shit does not smell at all. Really? No. Ooh. They're pissed though. They're pissed smells. Like, Ooh. You know what? Napa shit smells good. Does it? Yeah. I don't even smell. Tar shit smells like nothing. Well, I'll just let some air in and help, hopefully that helps it. We do have candles lit, so that should help too. That's a good thing. Yeah, it is. I mean, those it's too cold well. for mosquitoes anyway, so. So I'll put mosquitoes in my house. You still got mosquitoes now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can smell well, it. I guess it's a <laughs> chicken smell that he had. I don't even want to know that. It's it's chicken. He eats a lot of chicken. So, it's. I don't know. Look at, look at everybody's. <laughs> it seems fine to me. <laughs> he needs gagging. For me, it's just really good. Go outside, go outside. breathe in some fresh air, yeah. Go outside. <laughs> oh, you're going you're gonna to squirt a little? Thank you. You're going to get the uh, odor remover? <laughs> it is, it is, uh, it is a uh, pungent sort of chicken smell. Yeah, it's like chicken of the sea. It kind of smells like rotisserie chicken. Oh, 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 yeah, it's rotisserie chicken. 
That eats a lot of yeah, he's got, he's got, he's got, he eats a lot of rotisserie chicken. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> she did. She did. She guessed the protein. She got the protein, correct. Yeah. The predominant protein. Uh, no, I think we'll be okay. It's okay. It'll, it'll, uh, it'll improve. It can only improve. All right, so let's get back. You're never going to be able to change a diaper. <laughs> no. If I ever do, I'm vomiting all over yeah, the baby. No, you, 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 yeah, you, you, you don't want to be changing a diaper all over the baby. You know, I, I, think, I, I, think, oh, he, I think he'll make it. <laughs> I think he's gonna vomit. He's like this. What are you gonna spray? What is that? That's that's <laughs> mosquito repellent. That's not what that's for. He's yeah, like, it smells better at least. Here, give it, give it to me. I'll spray my nose. Oh, that smells so much better. Don't spray your nose. No. Oh my God, this is on oh, camera. Will you just squirt that's yourself? It immediately yeah. smells. Oh, that smells so, so good now. Oh, all right, if that works. It smells, like orange. It smells good. It smells good. It's too yeah. strong. Well, I would think these candles good. will help. Definitely. Can't oh my god. Yeah, it's like it's okay. High. It's not like a fucking forest. Oh my god. Awesome. All right. As difficult as it may seem. That poor little guy's stomach. No, that's what he eats. He eats like human food. He, he, eats, he eats well. Salmon, roasted chicken. I mean, you know, it doesn't get much better than that, right? Okay. Let's get back to your question. So let's let repeat it <laughs> just very quickly. Is there anywhere in the town of Crest where there is a statue? Ah, of the yes. Darovich says. Very simple question, and I'm more than happy to answer. Uh, yes, here in town, you're not familiar with the town yet. You have not gone to the northern side. There is a pond, and in that area is our pond of the white light. It is not frozen. It smells worse out here than it does in It here. somehow does. Yeah, that's weird. Come in here and squirt all over a little bit. Yeah. Is that stuff? Uh, oh, I'm mine. The scent of that. Are you guys a pound? I mean, yeah, is that so bad? Handle, but no, the, the, the scent. That's of the, the, they smell. They they spray mosquito. Oh, spray mosquito repellent. Yeah, they spray like, mosquito repellent. It, it smells so good. good. This mosquito repellent. It smells so good. You must have smelled the candles. It smells like fall. That's what so I. That's what the mosquito repellent smells like. I can't smell anything. So he says, if you follow the path outside, I'll be more than happy to guide you. You no. Just further up from the uh, the pa the uh, area where uh, uh, what was his name uh, Luca not Luca Luca was the son right? Luca the where he where held sheep. the sheep just beyond there is uh, our shrine Saint Markovia is uh, built this shrine it's a pool of of uh, mineral water it is fed from the ground and uh, Saint Markovia blessed this area. It is one of the... Would the water be counted as holy water? Yes. Okay. Yes. The water itself um, is has uh, benevolence to you. Sure. There you will find a gazebo where we have a statue of the morning lord. The water never freezes. It's as cold as it gets, oh, as snowy cool. as it gets, because it is touched by St. Markovia. It is one of the true last holy pieces of earth. In this land of Barovia. That seems like a safe place. It is our crown jewel. Seems like a safe place to be. That is a safe place. And we believe it protects us from the devil himself. That was an easy question. Um, you are more than welcome to go. Um, you are more than welcome to uh, uh, pray and uh, seek the rewards from St. Markovia herself, the one of the last great fighters who took a stand against <clears throat> Thrad. Thank yeah. you. Um, I get free water. Yes. Uh, okay. Anything else? He says, I mean, you know, I, uh, I have one item I will give you. He says, I have held on to this item for many, many decades. I have no idea where it came from. Uh, it was a scroll found on a dead soldier by another soldier. They you passed it along to, to me. Huh? Russ is a wizard. You can read it straight out. And oh, it is yeah. a story. Perhaps it will mean something to you in your voyages and your journeys. You he says, I have another copy of the scroll. He has, he has another copy. Well, I gave you two. I thought maybe you would share the... <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll shake it okay. down. And he says... Uh, 
for I have no idea what it stands for or what it means, but uh, you know perhaps it will be of Beautiful. use for you. Thank you. He says, I know you came from Valaki. Uh, I yes. would I, I could tell you a little bit about a monster there. Oh, yes, I'd love to There's a that. beast, they say, in the lake. Oh, we killed it. You did? <laughs> you did? In Lake Zanovich? Yes, there's three. It's a dangerous beast. It can charm creatures. Yes. It has a cave? Yes. And there's treasure in the cave? Yes. Did you get rock? Yes, we killed it. You killed the We get killed rock. the get rock, the, the mommy, the daddy, and the baby. We killed every one of them. <laughs> Fantastic. You tell the people of uh, Balaki this? Yes. Uh, didn't do much uh, for us. No? I don't think they knew about the Gitro, where they thought it was some legend or something. It's a legend well-known in Barovia. But not everybody, you know, talks of these legends. Some peoples have their own yeah. back and forth. How about uh, how, how, how about the, uh, the rock? Are you familiar? There is a large bird. Giant no. bird. It protects a stone bridge. On the way to Zelenka Pass. That's what we need. We need to collect the gems. Oh, Where's Zelenka Pass? Zelenka Pass is to the south. If you happen to go there for any of your travels, be aware of this giant bird okay. that protects. This is what I've heard. Uh, it is uh, stories that come back from those soldiers that are passed along through family line. Okay. Um, the Zelenka Pass itself um, was the location of a very large battle between the, with the great, uh, during the great event between Zarovich taking over Barovia and the rest of the southern region. He had to work to take over that area and he had to kill many peoples including Fay. And uh, the uh, the uh, not the Fey, the, uh, the, the uh, Barovians, the Barbarians, and uh, the Druids. Argenvost, are you Paul? Are you familiar yes. with Argenvost? The dragon, the order. Yes. Of the dragon. Yep. All right. Uh, the white dragon, a silver dragon, who uh, yeah, who uh, battled yeah, Strahd. The remains are in the castle. You have heard this legend. Oh, we yes. He see well. The one who died sees it, saw it. You're a short one. Yeah. I'm he sorry to hear of him. He saw the skull of the dragon. The I'm dragon. sorry to hear of, the, yeah. of his death. Yeah. That is the highest level of commitment you can you can and make for for. Well, he was a great two. warrior. He sure was. In his own right. You see the boy. I'm trying to think if there's any other information that I can help you with. Um, I I don't know. You don't know? No. What, what about Kavan? You know anything about Kavan? Kavan is an ancient and old, old, yeah. old story. Yeah. Mm, folk tale. He was supposedly the first leader of the barbarian yeah. tribes here in Barovia. Yeah. He was supposed to have laid down all the law and order. He uh, had great um, uh, uh, relationship with the Fae, who supposedly were here at that time as well. That's how old he is, how long ago he is. Great warrior and is considered godlike. Might you know where he could supposedly be buried? Uh, barbarians tended to be in the sort of hills? southern hills, yes. Okay. More to the east. Um, so like... You got a map? Well, where's the full map? Yeah. The full map. Let me pull this up. Damn, we got a message from my kid. So here's, here you go. That's here's a map. map. On the screen. So he says, you are here in Kresk. Yeah. So he's going to point to you, and he's going to say, down in this area, down here, okay, so by is the, where by they the, are at. Okay. He said, are you familiar with the w Wizards of Wine? We, this is their area here. So it's by the Wizards of Wine. When we do the wine thing, you can do the... Uh, you can do the he says, are you familiar with these hills? 
This area was known as Berez. Berez was a city uh, of, of uh, elves and peoples, and it was washed away by Strahd. Yep. He took anger out against those pe these peoples. He wanted to show his control of the land. So he flooded the land. Yep. That area now is all swamps. Useless okay. for you to go in that area. Very difficult to oh, terrain. Gotta find to Kavon. walk. Well, You're going to go down in there. Yeah, gotta find Kavon the grave. Probably there. Or he says, he points over here and he says, This is Great Mountain. Oh, Yester right. Hill. Yeah, yeah. It said a big hill. That's what Eva said. Yester Hill is okay. probably where. Who is Eva? Sounds uh, like. Uh, the Stani. The Stani. Yeah. Seer. Seer? Probably pointing you there. Okay, okay. Yester Hill. Yester Hill is where druids meet. They conduct all their old. Very There's a giant tree there, right? A giant dead tree on the Ah, uh, I understand there are lots of dead trees in that area. You can see some of those trees, not around here in Crest, but I understand along some of the roads, Savalak Road, uh, on the way to um, the village of Barovia. There are some that you can occasionally see. If you cut the tree, the legends say it bleeds. That's creepy. Bleeds blood. That's creepy. It's own blood. Wait, but couldn't vampires actually grow that tree and then they have an instant supply of blood? Not their kind of blood. Oh, okay. Would you rather suck blood from person or wood? I don't know. You, how, if, if all we had <laughs> think about to it. answer that question. Think about it. <laughs> but you know, right now, Kresk is... Uh, we are we're starving for food. Food is much more important. But we have no, no wine. Wine is gone. Yeah, we plan we're on going to the Yeah, we're going, going to the Wizards of the Wine. Well, that is very convenient because if you go there, Yester Hill is yeah. close by. Probably yeah, a day's walk. We can answer, we can do multiple things at once. Mm -hmm. Look at that, multitasking. But first, you wish to speak to our abbot. Yes. yes. Please understand, he is a holy man. Antisocial, I got it. No, he's not antisocial, but he has been taking care of the. Uh, the uh, uh, Bellevue's. Oh yeah, the, the, the people who have like that stone affliction, with, like that certain disease. Um, They're lepers. Yeah, the lepers. They are like a leper. Yeah, yeah. they are, have uh, deformities, he and he is helping them. Game of Thrones. No. Okay. So he's. You guys are having conversation and enjoy, enjoying, and uh, a knock on the door, and so Darovich limps over. You know, he's got his limp. <laughs> opens the door, and there is the uh, head guard. And he speaks to him. Darovich says to you, Dimitri is ready to see you. He has apparently finished his business with Remington. Is there anything else quickly you wish to ask me? Is there anything? Okay. You know where, uh, is the is man Benjamin Octavius or Ben Octavius? Does he have any family in town? Or any no. Mention? No? Yeah. Okay. See, I was passed yeah, this scroll it. along. Yeah, this is sorry. old, and I am not <laughs> sure how like far, uh, where it came from, looks like he, uh, was gonna say where it, it originated. Mm -hmm. It's been passed sense. around. Mm -hmm. Does it make any sense to you? Kind of. Sorry, change the name. It, it does make sense to me, yes. And then, uh, does it? Yeah, yes. Oh, you know, want to talk to them? Uh, uh, so, so this, this seems to be in line with the Fey Circle thing I saw. Where it has a spell to, there's a spell you can use with it, the shrines, to get you out. It seems like, first off, what Randolph did to fuck that one of the shrines shouldn't matter, because it seems like uh, Strahd already destroyed several of the shrines, or he desecrated them already in his search of the Chen's, because he believed the Chen had power to them. I think for the spell, we have to get the Chen's and re place them back to their rightful place. Okay. And then we can use the face circle spell to potentially get out. Okay. Up here. That's How many nice. gems do we need? There's five shrines or four shrines, if I remember correctly. I had to pull up the face circle uh, thing. So there should be like five gems. Okay. You speak of fair the fair. Yeah. 
Darovich says, um, the person that probably knows most are those that are the oldest people in the land. Those are Druids? The Druids? Barbarians? Possibly barbarians. They're going to be difficult to speak to. Or just find some fairies. Um, he well, says he, elves. Yeah. yeah, each one of the... Uh, elves would be... Wow, we know exactly where they are. Yeah, we know where one is. Uh, we do? Yeah. And uh, each one of the elves that are talking about is probably... I, so it details like different shrines, like the ones in the forest, ones in the mountain. And I'm gonna guess that there's corresponding channels for that, like the river. Burrez is by the river and that's blue, so it's the water shrine. And then the one we saw in the forest should be the forest shrine. And then there we didn't see be, a gem there. We did not see a gem. Well, it could be hidden or buried, but most likely it seems like uh, Strahd probably took the gems and he hid them. Maybe the in his castle. The one that they couldn't find? Do, 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 do. Well, either he, the guy didn't know whether they actually found it or not. It was kind so of like, okay. the potential is it could be in Strahd's castle. Or it could be uh, somewhere in the uh, world the swamp that, that remains of the res. Okay. Okay, so he says, um, if you need to stay here tonight, let me know. My, uh, as long as I have rooms available for you, uh, because I know you are going to see the abbot. I don't know if you see him today. Uh, you know, you're going to see Dimitri now. And let me know if there's anything that I can help you with. Okay. So the guard uh, says, Oh, yeah. Please. Where, where's Irina? Irina is uh, crossed with uh, She's Dimitri. She's with Dimitri. Okay. Just want to make sure nothing yeah. happened. Nope, you're good. You want to find out the princess is in another awesome. castle. I'm surprised you didn't get fucked with if you fucked with that shrine in the forest. Because it seems like the water one actually had a guardian beast that fucked up the uh, the group of people who were... Who were without, maybe the one that we went to was already decent. That's true. They did order... Strahd did order them to destroy the shrine. If they found them. We haven't seen the fucking stay at all. Okay. We'll find one. So the guard leads you through the gate, across the streets. It's it, it's daytime. It's you know almost noon. It's basically just about noon <clears throat> from your trip back. It took you about an hour and a half, and it wasn't too long. Not as long as it took to get there because you were on the sleds, but it, it was slow moving because of the animals. So and you spent some time with Darovich. So you are led into the room, the home again of Dmitri, who you have seen. Uh, and he is the one who sent you to the Fidatov Manor, mm -hmm. asking for their help. So as you come in, um, Dimitri comes out from a room, and he looks he looks very very tired. He looks worn out. He looks like he hasn't slept, um, and he looks weak. But he comes out and he greets you. Ah, the White Rose. I'm so glad to see you. So happy have I heard of your. Your success yes. and your yeah. your work you there. Food. And I talked to the emissary from the Fidetov family, and they are willing to help based on your help uh, with their with Marilena. I guess you you helped her. Yep. And you saw her, and I I understand she is doing well. Yeah. So uh, Kresk owes you a great apology, and uh, and definitely we are all in your hands. Otherwise, we would have died. So um, I wish to um, I wish to thank you for from the bottom of my heart. As soon as we are able to, we will try to recompense you for this uh, ability for us to survive the winter. We thank you. You are allowed to stay here. Thank you. I have already talked to Irina standing next to him. He says, because of your help, Irina is a, is allowed to stay here in Crest. Nice. She can stay. I will talk to the abbot. And uh, perhaps she can stay there with the abbot mm -hmm. under his under his gaze, under his. Is that wise? He is very strong and wise. It's He's a very strong man. You know, like crazy that you're considering his connection to potentially what happened to your son. Yeah. He kind of uh, he kind of uh, hangs his head. He says, "You know, um, when the abbot talked to us and talked about resurrection, he said there could be problems." We knew that there were there were problems, could be problems. He warned us. He said, I will only do what you asked me to do. But we chose that. We made that choice ourselves. 
So if you wish to hold it against him, what my son did to this town, I can understand, but we cannot. Okay. So Irina says, I, um, I understand where you are, are coming from. I have to find a sanctuary somewhere. Okay. So I wish, if we can, can we keep our open, what? A you mind know, to the gun tower. I'm not going to go anywhere. Yeah. I'm going to go and fight. So the chimney died. She found a chimney died. Now she realized that everything's too real. Yeah. yeah. No, she'll. Oh, shit. I can saying, actually die? She's saying, I'm, I'm trying to go somewhere where I can be, you know, where I can be safe. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Isn't that what we've been trying to do? Yeah. The one time you actually want to do it. Yeah. Okay. So, you, you, so, so you can see Irina is kind of like sad. And, and uh, Dimitri says, we understand that you have returned with a loss. Yeah. We are sorry to hear of the little ones. Jimmy became dog food. Want to see his dead body? <laughs> no. <laughs> Someone's carrying So Irina, you can see Irina's very sad. She's not crying. She's not, you know, like throwing herself on, on a sword or anything like that. That's but she says, um, what a crying did shame. she, she asks, she says, can I, can I ask one question sure. about Jimmy? Sure, Greg can answer it. Did he die in, in a manner appropriate to his, his, <laughs> his station in life? He did die in battle. He died, he died in uh, battle. He died did he die magnificently? To did a he giant die? hellhound. To a three-headed Cerberus. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good one. And he, uh, and he was fighting it. Yeah. yeah. That's good to know. He died in the I beginning. know he had a warrior. <laughs> he what? He yeah. died at the beginning. He died in the middle. He died almost immediately. Yeah. <laughs> she says, I know he had a warrior's heart. Yeah, he did. He and did. he had... What did what? What you know? <laughs> and he had uh, a love for being on this sort of a different side. Yeah. And the wanted to always be... Be remembered. So I will always remember him. He was in my dreams for for all my life. Yeah. And I am sad to hear uh, that he is gone. Horrible thing to dream of. Yeah. That's kind so of a guy who like your nightmares over. She said, but you know, his, <laughs> his, his, he was imperfect in many ways. But to me, he was perfect. Damn. Because he was able to overcome all of those things and become... And die in a magnificent man. <laughs> I don't think. And Imagine he, her reaction to his, what his body looks like and finding out he was a married man. <laughs> Did he? That doesn't matter. She's she's not. She's, she's okay with that. No, she's okay with that. King Rimeskis will turn his Lord of the 23rd very well, man, to uh, uh, Delgado Woodward. She says, I'm, I, I, I still Woodward, want sorry. to thank you all for, you know, bringing me here, giving me the opportunity to, to find a place where I can oh, live. Fine. And be away from that devil. And this ultimate sacrifice it scares me. I oh, don't want to see any more oh, of it. Oh, it's fine. Happen. It's fine? No, I had a fine. fine. I, look, I'm grunt. I'm having a fun time having you around. I get to fight all sorts of shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I live for. Not quite sure how to answer that. So she's going to bust up, start crying, and she's going to run out of the room, and she's going I, to run back into another room. I did not. I did not to watch. You made her cry. You made her cry. I, I, made her cry. I swear, did you? Yeah. You made her cry. <laughs> I just said he's she okay, was a he fun time. Her. Can he see her? <laughs> yeah. Can she see him? No. She, she was okay. fun to have so at the party. She's going to run into a back room. And she's oh, she's going to sit her. down I'm basically in a chair, and she's she's going to cry, and right. she's going to see him. He's she's going to take out that little piece of paper where she had, and and, and it had been folded, and and she's gonna she's gonna hold it out, <laughs> and she's gonna hold it to her heart. Yeah. It's the drawing that she made long ago of Jimmy. <laughs> Grush is going to shake his head and say, You can tell her, King Rude Mescus will join his Woodward. They haven't had any dreams of her. All right. I was like, She's just being emotional. Congratulations, Grush. She's just being emotional. You know how to make the ladies cry. I thanked her. She gave us all a good time. What's wrong with that? (laughs) It was fun. So Dimitri says, Well, uh, 
now that uh, you you've pulled that one, he says, uh, "I have." Uh, however, somebody <laughs> yeah. I'd like you to well, meet. Dimitri. I can I, back in my back where I live. I can show you what a true woman is. They can throw me around. He says, "Well, here we treat them differently. Grats. You need to learn the finer things." Matt, I, I have learn. multiple children. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how to show sentiment and how to take care. It's like a sentiment I have for Anna. No, we don't. Even do though I know she has do done do some things wrong. We don't do any of that. No, you're a, you're a waste. He says, uh, I have, however, a surprise for you. Yay! A returning member of the Blue Rose. We heard who has from been staying me. Yes, he came to visit me. And he came with a message. Oh. And unfortunately, it is only him. There are no other blue rows. Yeah, we killed with the him. other ones. No, did, 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 did we didn't kill all of them. Yeah. Oh, all right. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of provide some background for you, okay? Okay. Because I know you have some, but I had to try to bring you into this story, okay. and I have to try to. Yeah, you're agreeable. You didn't write back. You were agreeable. You only have one question you have to answer. I sense you were in the messages. I had to respond for you because you wouldn't respond. So, out of the out of one of the back doors comes a a, a, a tall, thin man with a fedora, <laughs> and he has a, a purple cape, and he's got high water pants. And he looks like he would freeze his butt off if he was here. Hello, friend. Good evening. And he greets you. It is I, Reedy Whitworth, the current leader of the Blue Rose. Reedy, Reedy. The current leader. <laughs> the de facto leader. It is I, one. the full survivor and current leader of the Blue Rose. Hey, Reedy. I told you I didn't hear them. Reedy, you did? Yeah, yeah, yes, friend. Did, friend. did you want to join the White Rose? You have to answer one question. Uh, what's the question? Which rose is the best? Uh, obviously, it's the blue rose. <laughs> He's not allowed in. He's not allowed in. I don't know this man, Dimitri. <laughs> obviously, uh, the blue rose, the, the spirit but, and heart of but, the blue rose. But, but, but Reedy, hmm. your party's dead. No, I am the party. I'm the man. I'm the man. The legend himself. So let, let me, let me, that's a good, that's a good lead in for me to <laughs> provide some background. So, um, Reedy is going to, I, I can't do the voice, so he's going to explain why he believes the Blue Rose is so good. The Blue Rose is the best because we are just so fucking great. I'll do a little bit better job, maybe. <laughs> I didn't say so, that for reasons. So he, he explains to you that approximately five months ago, Hives sent the Blue Rose on a quest. There were rumors that were spreading about a pack of ferocious Barovian werewolves that were terrorizing villages and kidnapping children in the provinces of nearby Lecarest Nvidia. Nvidia, Lecarest, Lecarest is a uh, town there. But I'm just gonna say Nvidia and Borka. Those are two domains that were being uh, haunted. And the, the werewolves would retire into um, this area near Kresk. So led by a brave and charismatic paladin named Kostea Ilivanshina, they determined to put an end to this. So Kolea, Kostea it was the paladin that you battled. Okay. So they were comprised of five people, um, including Raymond Crit, Randolph Crit, excuse me, Raymond Crit, who was the wizard that I had with you, and Arkel. The barbarian. Those are two that you uh, of the of the blue rose that you encountered yeah. in Valaki. He tells you that the group actually had uh, a couple of other uh, people, including a cleric named Cornelius Chapman and uh, Westcott Nash, who was a thief. But uh, as you recall, and killed two of the vampires. Yes. Yeah. So you killed their paladin and their thief. Ah, I would have pulled it here. So he explains everywhere. that the Blue Rose ventured deep into the <laughs> the forests of Barovia. They really didn't understand that by going through, they would never be able to come back. I say, how did the werewolves get through? Because I don't think it's not allowed through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The starving werewolves. 
my goodness. So you can ask that question, but nobody here can answer it. Maybe Strahd let them go. Okay, so they were um, they were following the, what the what what they knew was the path of of werewolves. Okay, in which you could see basically easily in the snow. Um, among the group, of course, is Reedy Reedy Woodworth. Okay. So as they were moving into the forest area. Reedy starts to feel a creeping weakness overtaking him. The Blue Rose came to Crest, and they were let in. Dimitri let them in. He saw you the first time, and he exp um, they explained that they were here to, to find these werewolf pack and to eliminate or reduce the threat. So Dimitri provided all the support he could that would help the city, and he explained that the pack used to only... Um, uh, res like attack people or reside up in the hills. But lately, um, they had been coming down from the hills for the past eight months. They seemed like they were steadily encroaching upon Crest and the surrounding farms. And that's where you know because you met the druid lady who has had this happen. So, whereas in the past the werewolves hunted only those that traveled in the open after dark, they were now seeking humans of all ages anywhere in well-lit areas through the day. So after spending one night with Dimitri and Kresk, the Blue Rose went out to find a den. But unbeknownst to them, Ooh, Reedy, were, huh? I thought they were night entry to Kresk. No, they were they came in. Okay. I've I've changed that. Okay. I've changed it. Well, the law has changed. Could have been they were changed. They were only allowed in for one night. Remember, you were gonna be allowed in for one night. They were allowed okay. in. Because of this. Well, I thought we were only allowed it because of, uh, we had the... Michael, you changed into a barrel. Please go ahead and question it. Yes. Michael, don't question They were allowed in because... Yeah, no, it's okay. Sorry. It's all right. I, I, I know he's, he caught it, and it's okay. Those they, things need to be I, right I changed sorry. it for him okay. to work him in, and I changed it so that they were... Uh, they're, they're trying to survive against the werewolves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crest, too. So this the, the Blue Rose was there to actually help them as a byproduct. So... So, um, Reedy has caught a heavy flu. Oh, it drained all his strength. That's a tough feeling to that, right? So, his once sharp eyes grew dull, and his agile movement <laughs> slowed to a stagger. Now, you got to remember, I didn't know who he was <laughs> when I wrote this. Stuff. Right. So, despite, despite his efforts to conceal his ailment, the group finally noticed as they were doing their tracking that his deteriorating condition after making most of their way to the den. So, the group paused to assess the situation, and Kostya, who is, was a wise, compassionate leader, faced the difficult decision of turning back, because at the risk of putting her other team members, catching the flu and catching the sickness, and spreading it to the company. So, so with a heavy heart, she ordered everyone to go back to Koresk. Um in your flu-induced delirium, you heard sounds from the forest surrounding Blue Rose. And at that moment, as they had stopped for a while and decided to turn back, the werewolves had caught drift that they were being followed. Uh -huh. And they surprise attacked the Blue Rose. And they caught them by surprise. The werewolves emerged from the shadows, and they are attacking. You could see hunger in their eyes, but you were being laid down on a stretcher to try to keep you warm, yeah. and you couldn't move. You were sick to, to death. Oh, I thought it would be gentle. Oh. So you were aware that a battle was raging around you. The Blue Rose um, was delivering their crushing blows, and you could hear screaming howls of the, the werewolves. There were a lot of werewolves. You remembered that there was just lots of them. I counted at least five. Uh, more like 20. <laughs> it seemed as though the Blue Rose, though, was going to have the upper hand and force the wolves into a defensive retreat. However, just as victory was within their reach, three figures emerged. That's pretty good. What's your wisdom? 12. He's smart, but he's not very wise. All right. Just as victory seemed to be within the reach of the Blue Rose, three figures emerged from the darkened depths of the forest. Oh, good. Three brides, Ludmilla, Anastralia, and Valenta. 
They had sinister grins and they unleashed their dark on powers upon the adventurers, the werewolves, sensing the opportunity, joined the force with the bride to turn the tide of the battle. Their presence was like a storm, casting shadows that twisted and distorted the very fabric of reality. The Blue Rose, wearied from their struggle against the werewolves, now faced an even greater threat. The vampires used their hypnotic gaze. They paralyzed some, while others fell victim to their relentless onslaught of dark magic and physical prowess. So you know... You know that the brides can wield magic. And they are also... That's good to know. What the hell did he say? <laughs> they're sexy. Oh, they're sexy. You know what? <laughs> Kretz, what did he say? <laughs> Kretz is going to clash his hand and say, I agree. You're welcome to the group. My favorite part was when they had jiggle feminists. Welcome to the group, Reedy. So even Thank though the you. Blue Rose fought valiantly, the combination of the vampires and the werewolves proved overpowering. As the moon reached the zenith, the werewolves, with their newfound ally, overwhelmed the rose. The brides, though, determined that the captured Blue Rose members were their prisoners, That's not right. the prisoners of the werewolves. And you heard one of the werewolves step up and... Ang be, uh, talking angrily at them, he was defiant, and the the you saw like uh, the, the the brides sort of standing against him and glaring at him and sort of pushing him aside. But he was bigger and stronger, and you heard them call his name, Kirill. Little Kirill. His name was Kirill. The brides surveyed their captives. Their, their eyes fell on you, says oh, yeah. Mike's character. Okay. Lying in the snow, breath visible in the frigid air. Anastralia approached you, What's and with that? a dismissive gesture, she declared that this sickly warrior is too frail to be of any use to us. That's right. They are expecting ah, you, you to die. You definitely hurt a little bit. That's not a little bit what she thought. The vampire brides left Reedy, Reedy, Reedy? to the mercy of the biting cold, convinced that nature's elements would claim him. Well, what they didn't know is the nation held with the control by me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's great. That's great. All right, that made it five yes. degrees warmer. You made it one degree warmer. Yeah. Five degrees warmer. So as the evil beings vanish into the night with the adventures in tow, great. you're laying alone in the snow. That's Your breath great. is becoming more shallowed and labored. Yet fate is a fickle mistress. Yeah. I found that in a poem. <laughs> Just as you feel the chill of death creeping over you, another large white werewolf, drawn by the echoes of the battle, discovers you. Oh, After a treacherous journey through the snowy expanse, oh, no. Maldrea oh, no. carries you to her his den, oh. a cavern nestled beneath the roots of ancient trees. Oh, it's a druid. The den is lined with furs and warmed by a steady fire, providing sanctuary from the biting cold. With his ancient remedies from his pack and the knowledge of healing, Maldrea and the pack nurse you back from the brink. They are wolf-like beings, and at first you were petrified that they were werewolves indeed. That sounds like, but that's how I realized. That. Might oh, be it's a Days it's turned into nights while the comforting confines of Maldrea's den. Maldrea explained to you, that he and his kind were wargs. Oh, okay. Ancient wolf creatures of solitude who moved to the high mountains above Lake Zarovich centuries ago. The wargs have remained neutral to all humans and have lived for centuries claiming this area as their own. As you're gaining your health, the bond between you and the wargs starts to deepen. Yes. Several it's days ago... They came time for you to leave with your renewed and vigored health. Yes. Your character offered any deed or action to repay the ward's kindness. We made it Maldrea right. asked for you to return to Crest, talk to Dimitri, and explain his situation to him. Okay. Okay. So your quest, or your single quest by yourself, was to explain that the wards long ago, he explains... The wargs made a pact long ago with the Fae to only inhabit the mountains above Lake Zarevich, and while they have never dared south of that area, the wargs are keen to keep track of both the humans and the werewolves for their own self-interest and protection. Yeah. They want to be left alone, yeah. but they need to make sure that they keep an eye out for any intervention or anything that could be a threat. That's cool, huh? They prefer not to be seen by humans, but have ventured to the northern shores of the lake 
observing from afar. And they have found an unexpected companion. Uh, their energy is saved. Uh, hold on, I don't know what that says. Okay, back to it. He points out that the wargs have not entered into any human activities, including Von Zarovich's great wars that allowed him to conquer the leaders and the lands of Barovia. So they've been here this whole time. They remain neutral. They do nothing. He explains that the leader of the werewolves, Skenis, long ago had made strides to repair the relationships with the wargs. So the wargs and the werewolves at first didn't get along. Even though they look a lot alike, they are completely different. So let me the comparison. show you. Here is Maldea. It looks like a rat. You look like a rat. That is a wark. It looks like a really big fucking rat. Of course I thought they were werewolves. This is a werewolf. Rat. So he's trying to explain he is trying to explain to you that there's a difference. Yeah, there's a huge difference. <coughs> the what? works works speak many different languages. What's the difference? The whole fucking thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's nothing alike. <laughs> okay, good. This is disgusting. But I didn't say that in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Andrea explains that the leader of the world, oh, Scanus, had made strides to repair the relationships between the wars. And the that werewolf. Unfortunately, weird. the new leader, Kirill, has taken control of the pack and has ventured into the dark ways of attacking and killing, kidnapping and killing villagers. Disgusting. Maldre is concerned that the werewolf's aggressive nature towards humans will bring un unwanted attention to the wargs. As humans hunt werewolves, they will hunt the warg. Who may all seem the same. I mean, after all, they all look alike, right? Oh, no, they don't. They look totally fucking different. No, the war the fear they will also be blamed for the werewolf attacks. Indeed, the werewolves have attacked Lone Warg and are encroaching on the Warg territory like to find humans and food to, to cover for an increased size of the werewolf pack over the last year under the direction of Kirill, which explains to you because you're so smart, Reed. Yes. Why no, the werewolves no. are going out and capturing and bringing people back. Do they know if they're the Tommy or not? What? You're asking a question? Yeah. No, but nobody can answer that question for you. Yeah. Maldria asks that Dimitri continue. So you're saying so you're saying this for Maldria. Yeah. Okay. He I told know. you to ask Dimitri to continue to respect and keep distance from the war. Yes. He's also asked Dimitri to do his best to determine if a werewolf that attacks is part of Kirill's pack and not a warg. Yes. Well, Andrea yeah. has instructed all wargs to only defend themselves. They will not attack I, any I humans. I think it'd be pretty hard not to see a, a warg in a werewolf. Maldrea, and, and now you see and you notice behind him, I, I should have mentioned it, I'm just going to say it, on his shoulder, was a big, large raven sitting on your shoulder. Yeah, well, this is Maldrea has sent a raven with you yeah, to act as a messenger to return a reply that Kresk understands the situation and and answer his request. Oh shit, that means he heard you say naked row ad. So, oh. uh, you <laughs> call, said, said, that means the raven heard him call them a naked row ad. Mr. Crow, did I have that name to think that I said about a disgusting fucking raven? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they look like more rats. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Dimitri that's, that's, that's says... Okay, werewolf versus a version of war. So, oh, yeah, yeah, no. so Dimitri has come that's down... Disgusting. I would rather be a werewolf than be that. I would Dimitri, much rather be a werewolf than that. Dimitri has come down to offer wargs, uh, I guess, a leaf olive branch. Yeah. Uh, Dimitri says, we don't give a shit. Anybody that attacks us, we will kill. Well, they say they won't attack you unless you attack them. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, we're not going to stand around asking... I've been telling him. Look at it! They have nothing alive! They don't do Why me, I'm making fucking more yeah, 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 If one of them yeah, attacks, yeah, yeah, we will simply yeah. defend shit. ourselves and they kill look, them. They look nothing alive. We will kill them. One has fur and muffled, the other has no fur and fucking. So you're busy trying to convince him that they don't look yeah. They don't look alike. They're very alive. Yeah, and Demetrius just keeps saying to you, tell your. 
Maldia or whatever her name is, that uh, we don't care. We will kill any one of them. We right. don't care. If, if they attack us or not, we are well, going to kill them. The We're not now. going to give them a chance to find out if they're friendly. Well, that's that's a, stupid. That's a very negative outlook on it. We have, have to defend ourselves. We've come that close to death. See, I'm arguing with him. This is why Raven is still here. This is why I want you to talk to him. Understand, make him help me to make him understand that we humans have to... This is my mission as the leader of the Blue Rose. You know... <laughs> I agree. Okay, okay wait. It, is it our words like Lycanthrope? Are they considered Lycanthrope? I need this for, uh, I need this for, uh, No. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Uh, that doesn't affect my answer then. No, I know what you're saying. I know why. No, they are not. <laughs> okay. They are human-like wolves. Okay. They're, they're lame. In fact, in... This is just out of character, out of text. Wargs are often used as seeds in they're fantasy like, realms. They're naked so they're, they, they like get on like cobalt. Oh, it's like dogs and, and stuff probably. They, they ride, ride them, them. yeah. They yeah. So, okay, look like naked Morats. I can't look past that. <laughs> well, I definitely wanted to make sure it looked different for you. So, so uh, oh, Dimitri you're says... Goblin. Huh? I don't want to say goblin. Oh, that's Speak good. It. You'll find it. <laughs> that's pretty accurate. <laughs> so Dimitri <laughs> says, I implore you, White it's Rose. To work <laughs> White Rose, I implore you to help him to understand, to send back this message well, that he expects. Here's my question. Are you going to try to kill them if you see them? We're just going to kill and def Yeah, anything that attacks us, but we will if, attack, but of course. That, it, but if they don't attack you, you won't attack them. We might if we have the opportunity to kill it. Wow. If there are ten of us and one of it. You know I said this? I can't tell you I'm going to tell my people, do that might be a word. Don't kill it. Why don't you guys have a, a secret phrase? Yeah, a secret phrase. If it's naked and well, if it's naked and ugly, don't shoot it. But no. it's fucking oh, hairy. No, between no, each no. other. Oh. Between each other. That is a very long phrase. No, no. Why do you propose? Uh, well, if they say if they say the passcode, then you know it's a, it's a yeah. it's a friendly creature. Yeah. But the werewolves won't know what the code is. Exactly. I'm not saying that's the raven. Hmm. <laughs> Why did you say that? Go ahead and roll your persuasion. Okay. You rolled pretty high. Nineteen plus six, twenty. Oh, you will. You beat the shit out of it. Okay. okay. He's going to say, "All right, now somebody comes up with a good idea." I we did not not come, no, he will. You didn't but you, a chance you, 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 you should have, we should have thought of this earlier. We would have saved ourselves hours of argument. I completely agree. This is a huge waste of both of our times. What phrase do you suggest? I said Star Spangle. Star Spangle. Yeah, what does that mean? Remember. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Do you agree to this uh, phrase, Star Spangled? Star Spangled. I guarantee that werewolves will never know what exactly. that is. Exactly. Yeah, no, the werewolves never know where Star Spangled is. Never. All right. I will write a note to your warg leader and ah, yes. explain that they must use Star Spangled Star to Spangled. announce who they are if they feel threatened by anyone from Kresk. I cannot, on my authority, guarantee any other humans outside of Crest will not. Oh, attack. that's fine. That's good enough. All right. That's I'm not that. That's made my quest is complete. Ah, the first quest, the, the leader of the Blue Road. <laughs> Very good. So the raven that's next to you, which is, you notice this raven is, again, it's a, it's a, these are large birds. These are larger than what yes. you'd expect. It's been so it's, hair. It's, oh, it's, wow, been, wow. it's been sitting there and. And it's just kind of waiting, waiting. So he, Dimitri says, I will go now and uh, compose okay. this okay. note, and uh, I will give it to you for uh, for you to send with this raven to your leader. Okay. And uh, what no, else can I help you? I'm the leader. 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 i Hold on, hold on. It is uh, four against one here. Or I think you need a toy us. 
What are we talking about? I don't why don't we, we have? I finally why don't we? Have it in my life. Okay, Reedy. Reedy. There's a new position in the light world. It's called the mascot. <laughs> <laughs> how about we? How about we? Have, how about we have something like the the pale blue rose or something? That way, I can be the leader of the blue rose and do my own thing, and you can still be the white rose. It's, it's like a, it's like a, what the hell? Why don't we fight? Why don't we get, uh, 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 no, what's the other thing? Rebranding. What's the other thing? No. Rebranding. No. Uh, merge. Merger. No. Why don't we just do a merger? No, people can work together. Why don't we be a merger? A, a partnership? No. It starts with a C. Collaboration? Collaboration! Why don't we just merge then? No, this is a collaboration. What, what, what happened if I call for a hostile takeover? We can't have one of the blue roads. Yeah, that's not how hostile takeover works. Don't you understand? A hostile takeover means they take you over. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right? <laughs> words, when you least expect it, they're all going to pull your pants down. We have a magic. We're going to bring the white rose. Yeah, he's going to go to sleep one night. He's going to wake up with a tattoo of the white rose. It's perfect. It's too bad. Yeah. But that's okay. This is great. This is interesting. I'm as a leader of the blue rose, I, I conjecture that we work together. This is great. Look at this! The roses is working together! This is what Ben Hicken would have wanted. I can't, I find it a hard point to argue. This is a hard <laughs> point to argue. You, 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 you know what? You know what? I'm going to raise my hand. I'm going to raise my hand. I was originally going to try it up with the blue rose, so I guess I'm following you. Well, look at that! Yes! Uh, Welcome back, recruited! Yes! The pale, the pale blue rose! It's coming out from it. Hold on. <laughs> Why can't it be called the white blue what rose? What about sky blue? I like sky kind of blue. That's pretty good. Because it's color. a lighter blue. What about baby blue? Baby blue rose. Why does it have to be blue? That my head. What, what is blue and white? Has anyone noticed my sweet fedora? What 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 is blue and white make? Cloud. Sky That's blue. Sky. sky blue. I like this. This is a very good collaboration so far. And then we will debate on who becomes the leader. Uh, no, 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 no. That, that, that it's a merger. Really At that point, it's a merger. merger. It's a collaboration. It's a merger. It's no, a merger. It's a collaboration. It has to be a merger. We will simply what? We will after simply after, after we we said to Vex, Gretz is okay with re voting because I guess there has to be Jimmy and Carlisle died. I'm a, Gretz is okay for re vote. But I, I propose a merger of the white and the blue rose since we both lost members. All right, I'll, okay, yeah. And it's now the sky blue. It must go down in literature that I was the, the final the final the final You can, yeah, you can put it down. We, we wow, can, that's a lot. We can write it down. We can write it down. We can write it down. We can collaborate with. That's very, wow. And <laughs> they were vampires to begin with, but I just need to tell you. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Okay. okay. Yeah, so they're have a hard now going to be. To they're now me. going to be the sky blue rose. Yeah, sky blue rose. Yes, I like that. I was trying to see if there was an actual name for it. Uh, maybe? No, it's blue and green. Let us look at the color. Color. One of them should be sky blue. I believe. And turquoise. I love that color. Hold on, cadet. Celeste. Right. Here's sky blue. Yeah, sky blue is there. Sky blue is too dark. I think it's too blue. That's rather blue, yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. We want it to be more white. I think, I think, what Celeste. I Celeste! I like this one. Pale hey, turquoise. There's already that's an aqua. That's too long. You can't be aqua. That's too hey, long. Fuck them. Oh, my God. I agree with us. Yeah, they're, 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 they're fucking bitches. They're thick What do you think of the orange rose? Well, wait, wait, here's the pale I've never turquoise. Seen orange rose. There's light turquoise. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is turquoise? Turquoise, I guess, would be white, blue. Yeah, I like Celeste. Let's do Celeste. I think there's a little different green turtles. We'll do Celeste. Yeah, Team Celeste. Team Celeste. The Celeste Rose. We're the, the big oh pizza companies. We must send word to Hives. Yes. We must send word to Hives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree. Hives. 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 Power blue. Who's the, who's the Why don't we call leadership? I question the last. Yeah, ice no, blue. but if we have a split, I'll be the leader. I like ice blue. 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 Celeste is pretty quiet. I like ice blue. That's cool. Okay, well, yeah. well that's ice very weathery. Yeah. We need a vote. We'll vote. Vote on that. Who is the leader of your group? It's a guy in the armor. Oh, Jesus. I am. <laughs> and we don't vote. It's ice blue. <laughs> the ice blue rose? Yes. Not, ice, not, so so not so Not so Ice blue. Ice blue. Ice blue. 
Okay. What else? I gotta what? change everything now. Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, somehow I gotta change the the, the frontage of all the video now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So please make sure you just make sure you've got the right determination of what it is. You're just doing. put it in parentheses. Yeah, maybe I'll scratch it out. Yeah. Okay. Ice blue parentheses white rose. Yeah. It's ice blue. Okay. All right. Your ice blue. This is fantastic. Of course. This is, this is what makes Van Richten proud. And yeah. Ice will probably be a little proud at least. He's very different from that right there. He is. I don't, really like I, I, thought, I don't think he's going to be happy because he lost the team. Yeah. But, you know. No. They, you, somebody has revealed that they killed my friend. This is very bad. Well, I killed three previous members of the White Rose, so it's okay. Oh, well, there you go. Let me even that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, as you all are. I am really one of Are you making your determination? The Great Mother with it. Technically, I thought Irina walks out and she's she's got her sword and she's, she's Irina. She we, says, we're we're now the ice blue rose. Do you want to join? Greetings, female. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am the former leader of the blue rose. However, now we have the ice blue rose. We're now the ice blue rose. You're really no longer the leader. No, rose. I'm the leader of the ice blue rose. <laughs> no, he no. What? I thought we were voting on this. Hang on. Wait, you want to vote on it? Yes, we're voting on that, however. Irina however, says, can I vote? Be part of the vote? Yeah, wait on. Sure. Okay. okay. But I am the former leader of the Blue Road. And I am the former leader of the White Road. We're really Rose. collaborating. However, with the collaboration is done, I will revert back to the leader of the Blue Road. I don't vote What? <laughs> okay. Are you voting? I have the bags to prove it. That leader of the Blue Road. If we're voting, I vote for Kratz. Okay, there you go. I vote for Gretz. I, 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 I vote for Gretz. I vote for Gretz. That's already a win. That's already a win. That's already four votes for Gretz. That's ridiculous. Why does everybody vote for Gretz? I vote for Reed. Yes, I vote for Reed. So, it's two versus four. So Gretz wins. So Irina says, how come there aren't any more Blue Rose to vote for you? They're dead. Oh, they're dead? Yeah. Perhaps bad leadership. Yeah. You know, I have to play your dad. I agree. <laughs> 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 yeah. I also heard that you seem to like a team kill. He killed three white rows. <laughs> I don't team kill. I also I heard don't... that another one died. I won. Frog. Ew. What a sad way to die. Wow, Reedy, you have a big mouth. Where do you get all that information from? <laughs> oh, you yeah, man. I was there. I obviously did it. I can hardly <laughs> understand him. All right. So the leadership. In the heat of battle, you need, to be able, you need to be able to understand okay. the commands. This is a much more intelligent trick. Really? You study. You stutter a lot. I did not stutter. No, you didn't it's stutter. It's called a lift for learning. Yeah, you just can't cool. understand him, yes. I can't. All right. Well, it's good so to know that Christ is still leader. I'm not sure what king. you plan to do. Do you plan to go to the king? Yes. yes. Oh, that's that's the plan. See the out. She's, oh, she's just trying she's to standing the protect she's an enemy right now. Oh, we found a king, too. You stupid blue rose. He has attitude. Why are you collaborating? Yeah. Are you, are you sure you want him? <laughs> He's very angry. Greedy has attitude. You guys you know what? You're going to have this to keep your very leader. You're going to have to keep your rival. Calm, calm down, Greedy. <laughs> Chill out. Why are you doing this? People. We're the, 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 you're the one right throwing them. She told me that you killed my king now. Oh, I didn't see how dare you. Keep doing. We have so much. What are you talking about? about? We're gonna do Why don't you show him a body? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, do you want to see? Yeah, we'll show you the body. Uh, this is, uh, Check it out. No, yeah, you gotta wait a while. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just do it on command, okay? Why not? Oh, it's okay. They make a film of that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So Dimitri comes back. Hi, I'm a little heated. They killed my he, teammate. He rolled family. up the scroll and he says, Please give this to your uh, bird. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, will, I will exit the building. This is my, uh, this is my uh, level of cooperation uh, from the, land, the city of Crank. Okay. You helped the wars. And so you hand it to the raven, and the raven just kind of grasps with its claw. The fight's And you can, it hops uh, up on your shoulder. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just go outside, right? You can go outside. And as it pushes off, I mean, it's pretty heavy as it yeah. pushes off. Yeah. Roll a 20, just uh, to make sure you don't fall on your ass. Uh, he, he falls. You don't even need to roll it. Uh, fall. All right. Okay, no, no. All right. That's okay. Goodbye, powerful blood friend. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting accepted by anyone. <laughs> All right. That's okay. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. It's fucking great. All right. Um, so I, as he's outside doing his thing with the raven, Irina says, "What is the uh, what is with the bird?" Oh, it's a raven. You know, yeah, they, okay. yeah they're they're good omens. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Oh, we're sending a, a letter to the they're, wargs. With the wargs. Wargs. Yeah, they want they wanted to let the uh, Dimitri know that the wargs aren't the ones attacking the humans, and that as long as we don't attack them, they won't defend us. Wargs are horrible beasts. They are to be afraid. They will be to be feared. Well, they are as bad as the werewolves. The way I take it, Irina, as long as they don't have to break it. You're not there. <laughs> she says, works normally don't, we normally don't see them, but they are, they are just dangerous. Well, maybe they don't want to deal with the werewolves and the humans. So they want to be left alone. Okay. I hope you know what you're Well, doing. as long as they don't attack them, they won't attack back. That, that's what the deal is. Who's they? The humans and the wargs. As long as one don't attack the other, the other don't attack Dimitri's the other. Dimitri's standing next to you. Only uh, from Kresk. Yeah. Well, yeah, he says, of course. Irina, I do not know what... They don't it, speak to all the wargs in the world. would say or do. This is only between me and them. My, my town and them. And she looks at him and she says, okay. Yeah. All right. She says, what do you want to do? We're going to talk to the abbot. We're going to go to the abbot. We're going to go to see the yeah. abbot? Yes. All right. So you guys are going to step out into the snow. It's sort of mid-afternoon. Um, Reedy, Reedy, Reedy is doing a shake of, uh, of uh, victory. Quest complete! Blue Rose quest complete! Yes! <laughs> this is fantastic! He, okay, so... <laughs> I'm doing great at the leader of the Blue Rose. <laughs> right. You're so nice. Okay. Let me go to... Yeah, this is what I want to show you. So this is an overview of the abbey and the town. So the town is here, and you can see the road that takes you up. It's going to be a climb. Um, I'm sure it's one or two people. Dimitri says it'll that. probably take you easily an hour to get up there. And down at the foot, uh, you can see is the pond. Oh, we should visit the, the pond. pond. We should. Uh, let me check. So here's another layout. So you're over in this area. And you have a layout of a map, so to speak. Yep. So the pond is over here, you can see. So if you go to the pond, then you'll have to come back this way because the path that leads up is here. So you'll have to come back. That's there. fine. So it's up to you if you want to go around this and go there or back up. I think we'll go to the pond yep. first. Okay. So as you're going through the town, the snow is it's starting to get a, a, a lot more thick coming down and as you're walking, you all have, um, so uh, Mel Meldre gave you like thick furs. Yeah. Thick furs from some of their, I guess, obviously dead yeah. wargs. So even though their body looks like it what did, and that's one hair. interpretation of a warg. They have a lot of hair too. I mean, let's face it. I mean, okay. Okay. So you're covered with fur and you're taken care of. So you guys make your way through the town, the people, Occasionally, some people will stop you and thank you, shake your hands. Um, they're not quite sure who he is, um, but the town has heard, and they apologize. They thank you for Jimmy's courage and his, his yeah. help in defeating uh, the bad things and allowing the food to come in. In so a way, he you. really was a chew toy. My goodness, the Jimmy Carlisle fellow. He seems like a well like a lad. <laughs> So yeah, this is a tragedy for you guys, isn't it? He lied. He was. I lost my emergency. Is that cold outside? Let me wave my hands and make it a few degrees warmer. <laughs> it is about four degrees warmer. It's about as high as you can go. <laughs> it doesn't feel four degrees warmer enough. Or not again. <laughs> With a wave on my finger. So you're, as you're walking through the town and through the snow and such, you finally see opening up ahead of you. You can see. There is uh, like a, a, a actually like a waterfall that is, is you can hear the noise coming from the water and it's almost like a spring. The water itself you can smell almost like sulfur and such as you make your way through that uh, town and now you can smell this natural spring that glistens with this brilliant blue right in front of you. It's colder than hell and you can't understand. But uh, b before you lay stretches out now this pond. The pond is. Um, I'm going to say it's approximately 70 feet across, uh, 80, you know, 70 feet across, and 
the width of it is much wider, so it's about 100, 125 feet. God, so it's a good size. Weather magic? Huh? What do I think of sweet weather magic? A jet? Sure. Sure. All right. I will use shape water upon the waterfall to shape it as a waterfall. Okay. And you notice as you look at the waterfall that the waterfall <laughs> looks like a waterfall. <laughs> My goodness. You, you know, that has really good. Wow. Badgie has really good application. You can put water into a lock and freeze it. Exactly. And break the lock. Exactly. He's a weather wizard. He, that's why he took it. Somebody's actually thinking. He actually had. <laughs> I'll give you credit. He actually has really good spells. <laughs> I, I, I'm I, sure. I'm sure. I gave him some decent stuff. So adjacent to these tranquil well, waters, uh, you, know, I'm you can see good an good aging good. gazebo. It's teetering on the brink of decay, which doesn't make much sense to me, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the structure has a wooden statue. In it, and let me go to a nice picture. So here you go. Here's your pond. You can see the size. Everybody has different pictures of this thing. So, but another Holy one shit, that I had, and I didn't chill on that. <laughs> yeah, it's all, you can see steam sort of rising from it, it's and you can smell the sulfur. And then to the side, you get see a gazebo that is made of wood. And you see inside is this statue. His hand, the hands are extended. Um, it actually looks almost like a female in an eternal gesture. Time's embrace has worn away the statue's once vibrant hues. It's leave, left behind a chipped and faded remnant of what it used to be. On the statue's pedestal, which is not in this picture, the words Blessed Sister Markovia are inscribed, a testament to the past's reverence. It's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you smell the, the sulfur and such like that, the water looks crystal clear, beautiful. It's like nothing you've seen. And it's deep, deep blue, which is a color like you have not seen much in the way of colors here in Barovia. Barovia has mostly been gray and drab. And you can tell that this is definitely something different, that there is something about this place. Does, does anybody have work. anything like divine magic? Or, uh, and us. Okay, so go ahead and roll, and you can feel if you you don't have to cast, um, you don't have to cast any uh, 14. spell. Fourteen. Okay, so you can tell that it, this is a powerful, powerful area. You feel it like you, you didn't even hard to feel this um, at St. Ambrose, but you the, definitely feel it here. The riddle for uh, the thing says that the chest should be underneath the, Let me see. the morning board like, gaze, right? Uh, so in the, to the west, in a treasure chest beyond the confines of the land. Look under the gaze of the morning lord and his reach for the dawn. Let me see if I can get... It could be talking about here because it's positioned underneath the, below the <coughs> abbey. Could it be in the water? And this is where... It this is a better layout of what it looks like. Could be in the water. It could be in the water. Or maybe there's like a... I think it might be under the Morning Lord statue. That's or, not a Morning Lord statue. That's a system or... Oh. Or it might be... Because it's like a hidden that's why Drew said it had like a woman-like feature. I'm going to look around for something that looks like it could be like a... An opening on like the wall. So you're gonna go towards the back of it. Yeah. Okay. It's a water safe to go in. And that's a eleven. Okay. You see that the most of the wall of the area itself is like hard mm -hmm. and it's covered with snow. And whereas you were hoping to see maybe some like indentation or anything, the wall itself is really really solid and. Smooth. Fairly smooth. Okay. It's as if the time has worn it with the cold mm -hmm. and the snow and has worn away. And so the rock itself actually has, as you dig your fingers underneath the snow, it's actually smooth. So mm -hmm. it's not like harsh, hard, okay. or crack or anything like that. Anybody else want to look around? I want to touch the water. Okay, so you're going to go, as you go to touch the water, Irene is going to go with you. She's going to reach down and she's going to kneel down next to you. Yeah. And she says to you, I feel like this water is like pure. Yeah. Do you, do you think we should 
can put our hands in. Yeah, I'm going to touch it. So you're going to put your hand in the water? Yeah. Okay. As you're looking at her and she's looking at the water, it looks like clear and it looks, you know, like you can see as your hand goes in, it's almost like you go through and it's like trans, it's almost like a, like, like the mirror you went through, it just yeah. goes in. That's crazy. She, it's, it's crazy clear. And she is like putting her hand in and she, you can see her reflection in the water itself. Yeah. And as you're looking, you see your reflection, but your reflection starts to change. Oh, it's almost cool. like it's starting to shape shift okay. while hers remains the same. Anybody else standing around them? Can I see anything at the bottom of the pond? You can see deep into it and you know it's deep, but you can't see clearly to the bottom. All but right. you see their reflections and you can also now start to see the reflection that was Gretz. It's starting to change. It's like rippling as it comes through by itself. There's no ripple per se yeah. that Marina is casting. What did you want to say, Michael? I'm gonna say, all right, guys, I, I don't need to worry about breathing. I can just jump on in there and- I'm uh, a frog man. Do you need to breathe? No. Well, then you both can go. Okay, we'll yeah, both we'll search. Go. Then suddenly you but see the face the changing, the, the whole body changes, and your image that was you becomes almost submerged, and you can see it's a young man, about 30 years old, He's uh, um, he's got like this serene sort of, sort of ambience. He's got nothing on except a loincloth that surrounds him, and his his image is rippling, and his parts of him are going in and out of focus. Is this the chest? The man's physique. He's like sculptured. He's nice. graceful looking. Nice. His pale skin glows as if it's illuminated it's from within. This is like my past life. He looks like distant. He's got long hair. It clings in loose strands to his forehead and shoulders. Holy shit, could I become this? His, all, his eyes are becoming a, a contemplative gaze, and he smiles at you. It's like a warm smile. It's a reassuring I smile. I know. I might become a fucking... Uh, Irina is staring at him bedazzled. She seems like touched by him. You can see her. She's like reaching over. Yeah, that's my man. Her reach is reaching. <laughs> and you're, as you're standing there like you are... Yeah. The other person in that water seems to reach for your... That reflection that was you is not you anymore. Wow. You know it is not you. That's crazy. She's like... You can see she's got like this mixture of curiosity and, and yet this sort of longing in her face. And you hear the words coming out from out of the air. There's no movement of face... There's no tone that comes from the deep, but you hear a voice that says, Satyana, it is I, Sergei. Oh, shit. And he's raising his hand. I thought he died in the it. river, not a lake. Anyone remember his series of what Sergei is? It's, it's, it's uh, Scott's brother. brother. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you're fantastic. You are really cool. He says, it's been centuries, my love. The water's have whispered tales of your absence, and I thought I would never see you again. And you can see Irina, she's like, she's like surprised. She's like surprised, but she's like captivated. She's looking at him. She's not blinking. She's just like- Whoa, looking. get a grip. <laughs> she says, centuries, is, is it true to you? How can, how can this be? Sergei says, you hear, time has danced around me, but my essence remains tethered to this sacred pond. Come closer, you'll feel the echoes of our shared past. And she's looking at you and she says, God, help me. She's like grabbing onto you even though okay. she's reaching down. She says, I, I am Irina, I am not Tatiana. I'll push her away. You're gonna push her away from you or from? from out, of the, out of the pond. You're trying to push her? Uh, yeah. Okay. She, she doesn't want to become Tatiana. She's Irina. Okay. She she, says, he can't do that. So, so as you're pushing her, she says, no, 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 wait, 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 Grant. I, I know him. I feel as if I know him. You probably I've never seen life. him before. Probably past. But life. I feel like I I feel I feel like I know him. Yeah. So she's going to try pushing you aside. Whoa. Uh, should I stop or should I should maybe I? hold her? I'm gonna hold, hold her, her to prevent her from going in it. She says to the to the the face down there. What realm? 
have you lingered in all this time? And the, you hear the voice, the realm of tranquility where the waters cradle memories and the whispers of nature tell stories. I've yearned for your presence. Fate has drawn you back. She's looking at him. She says, eternal life of peace and bliss. What does this mean? How have you sustained it? And he says, the waters of this pond of the white sun, the blue white sun, seem to hold, that was a joke, but sorry, the key to a timeless existence. Embrace them and you'll find a life unburdened. Whoa. By the constraints of mortal worries. Come, be with me. I'm pushing her away. Here in a haven where peace and bliss intertwine, what like the ripples idea. of the pond, away from my brother. I can protect you. Wow. Okay, well, if he can protect <coughs> That could be a pe empty promise, Sarah. She's, she says, it sounds alluring, Gratz. No, it's an empty promise. You are not Tatiana at the end of the day. You're a reincarnated soul of her. Do what she, she wants. She says, you must, you must call me Irina. Yeah, I know. To Sarah, to the voice, the voice says, Irina it is. Well, you can't go you to You are the soul of Tatiana. You are my love. Okay, From bro. centuries ago. Can I, can I talk to Sergey? Yeah. Sergey, what, what was Tatiana's soul before she was Tatiana? She has been Tatiana. Not always. She if has, there's an after, there's a before. She was always Tatiana. Look, in, in this life of reincarnation that she's experienced, she could change as a person. She might not be the person you remember. He says, I know she is my true love, the one who I was betrothed to. I know this in my soul. You have brought her to me. No one else has brought her before. I have never thought that I would see her again, but thank you to you and your group. Yeah, no problem. You have brought her to me. Why are you laughing? That's so funny. What? Well, just getting in the water. I was going to just kick her in. <laughs> oh, just going to kick her in? <laughs> she says... Do you, do it does you, sound alluring. Well, I mean, but don't you want to live your moral life, though? There's so much things you'll be missing. She out says to Sergey, "It is true. I I cannot simply abandon it all. My my brother is Mark. Yeah, my benefactors here, the Order of the White. Well, Blue whatever Blue you Blue are, Blue Rose. Blue Sergey, Blue yeah. Blue 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 Sergey, the legacy of my father. Sergey. Sergey yeah. says, "Go ahead. Why don't we do it a little bit? Break the curse." She, her soul is now free, and then when she passes her mortal life, then if she wants to, she can be with you in the afterlife. Who knows? You might even be with the Morning Lord at that point. He says, I am here to take her soul. I am here to help you with her. You will retain Irina, but I will take the soul. Oh, it's like, a separate, it's like a separation thing? Tatiana is and always will be. Hey, that makes sense. Under the control Irina of the dark Irina. powers. Yeah. Yeah. Let us break their okay. their tangle Why not? web. Well, my teammates. Let us do this. Yeah, you yeah. also are here to deliver her to right to to a place of tranquility. Yes. That yes. has been your objective. Yes. You will take her away from the one who will want her most, who will do her the most harm. Yes. My brother. Yeah. Oh, really. Okay, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I guess. And what do you need to do? She says, remember, my brother will seek her for now in all eternity. This is her, this is her first, this, this is not the first time that Tatiana has been returned. But this may be the only time that she can go with me. Oh, you that's her game. Are you, are you, 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 she says, I feel a longing, but I feel a longing for something more. He says, here we can create our sanctuary, even untouched by the passage of time. That's weird. I think that's a little weird, though. She says, but this will deny me my, my revenge, my redemption, my salvation. You offer an eternity, she, she says to Sergei, but without resolution. How can I find peace? With you in this realm after what Strahd has done to my family and what he may do to my benefactors and the rest of Barovia for all eternity. He'd probably try to kill us as soon as we do this. Are you talking to the, everybody? Or? Yeah. 
Why don't we try to kill us? Every... She'll be safe. She'll be safe. I'm down for Sergei it. Sergey says the peace we seek is within the depths of our connection. It's not an escape, but a union. The world beyond this pond will continue its dance. But can here you with me, you pond? can find a haven of everlasting peace. Do you know if this is fine, Sergey? I think it was Sergey. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Should we ask him a question? I only think it would be. <laughs> he <laughs> says <laughs> the decision must be made now, for I cannot control when the waters. Will grant me passage to you oh, again. Oh fuck it! <laughs> speak yeah, to her. Not? He says to you all. Well, that's speak. a pretty convincing argument, though. Speak no, to I, her. I mean, you, you, sh you should go. Strahd, you're be more in danger here with us than if you went with him. Exactly. And Strahd will only hunt us even harder. Honestly, that might only be Tatiana. So not only that, that all I really but you, you have. Roll your persuasion. Roll that persuasion. That's okay, oh, keep talking, but roll your persuasion. Wow, oh, okay, shit. Uh, 21. Oh, wow, okay, I'm very gonna, good. Yeah. I'm going to say, Plessy, don't worry, we're out handle Strahd on our own. Okay. If, if you're with us, it would actually probably make it harder on us to act against Strahd. Because he's going to always try to find ways to go and try to grab you, and we're going to be stuck protecting you. Well, exactly. You do not fear for yourselves? Oh, no. 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 I mean, a little bit. <laughs> No. If it's the last thing I do, I want One of you is already dead. It, Two it, of you are already dead. If it's the last thing I want to do, I want to drive a stake in that fucker's heart. Okay. <laughs> this is a big part. She <laughs> says, uh, what about the abbot? Do you think the abbot could help me? No. no I think he, he's working with Strahd. No, he sounds like a son of a bitch. Sounds, sounds like he's evil. It's striking by what he's been doing. It doesn't sound like he's... I don't even know if the pawn's a good thing. He made a monster. That made the Sergei is now opening his arms and saying... Tatiana, listen to your this is actually water, by the way. They yeah, have said water. what they believe. My time is short. You must make the decision. She looks at you all and she says, I will go with you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, give her, we she should all give her a reassuring take, smile. Take care of I'm yourselves. I'm going to day smile. Take care of my brother. I will. Take care of yourselves. Yeah. Take care of this land. Yeah. Do what you can to right the wrongs yes, that he has done. Yeah. And she says, deep within me, although I am Irina, I know that he has done horrible things, more horrible than you can imagine. Please, please seek out knowledge. Yeah. Please seek out that knowledge. And she starts to walk into the water. So as she locks into the water, the air is like starting to shimmer. You can feel this like ethereal energy. It's like the very fabric of reality is shifting right in front of you. And Irina wades into the water and until it, you can see her just going down. Yeah, you're, you're waving bye-bye. Suddenly there's this explosion of colors like you haven't seen in the Barovia. And it's like a kaleidoscope. The whole area around her in the water is all these different reflections. And in that moment, the young woman and the man in the pond become intertwined in an embrace. Their union transcending the boundaries of mortal existence. But Irina's body now still stands, whereas you saw what you saw was sort of like a translucent image of her go. Her body is now still standing. Uh, Irina. And it stands like a shell. It's not oh, doing she's anything. Like she's it's like it's this. like it's just standing there. And then you hear him say, Tatiana's soul resides with me now. Irina is now the same as many of those you have seen in the village of Barovia. Strahd will recognize this change, but he will not know how or why. He may try to destroy Irina's body. Take it somewhere that it can be cared for. Hint, hint, Lazarus. Look to the waters of the Pool of the White Sun. They hold a historical tale that will help you on your journey. Important. I am with you and will manifest myself when and if possible. Follow the path that the gypsy woman has provided. You see he's starting to fade. The magic is strong. And he dissipates. I'm going to go into the water to pick up the body. She's just standing, though, next to it. She's, she's oh, just Lazarus. partially standing. I'm going to pick her up. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna... she's, she's just All standing. Right. Put her in the, oh, ring. Put her in the ring. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. She's she's still a person, okay. you know, but you can tell she's, like, dazed. She's not. She almost looks like she's not there. 
You have known and seen and heard of this, where the soul is removed from their bodies. Is she considered living? She's living, but she doesn't laugh. Remember the baby? She doesn't cry. She doesn't... She well, it depends. Does it count if they don't have a soul? Let me look it up. Why don't we take a few minutes break? This is a big point for you. We're going to have our our, uh, our uh, ice blue... What is it? Ice blue? A celebration of the new collaboration. Uh, new celebration. That's what I was doing. Of the, of the new rose-colored rose with a little bit of dessert and then we're going to come back for a few more minutes. Don't worry. It's always temporary. That's the little blue rose. He's not one man. That title, though. I'm going to jump in. He's going to jump in. Okay. Oh, so You're going to jump in? Yeah. Okay. And you're going to jump in. I'm a frog boy. I'm going I know in. that. I don't agree. I'm okay. Okay. Did you try to stream on, Mike? Yeah. Oh. Somebody. Woodworth. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hope we caught that. Okay. That was her doing you. <laughs> All right, so I've got two people who have jumped in the water. The water is nice and warm. It is not cold like the outside. Oh, okay. no, the I water also, the no, there's, it's not. I'm going to use my weather magic on it anyway. I'm going to, I'm going to. You don't need to. I'm going to make it cold and it's warm. Yeah, so you do. Ah, no, it's even warmer. And suddenly as you're trying to dive down, the water is boiling around you. No, anyway, all right, so go ahead, both of you, and roll. What you see as you're swimming, tell me how you're swimming. Are you swimming around? I'm going down yeah. first. You're going down. I'm going to be swimming around the edges. Okay. Because that's probably where the story is going to get told. That's 18. Seven. Okay, so. Well, I rolled an 18. Let me go back, yeah. I got 15 yeah. plus Why do you want my Here is the layout. So you guys basically were doing all your stuff here. So you're going to start, which way are you going to go? You're going to go around the thing this way, counterclockwise or clockwise. So you're heading around this way. Which, where in this pond are you heading? I'm going right in the middle, right in the center. And going I'm right to the down. middle and you're just going down. Okay. As you go down, you see that the depth of this pond is very, very deep. It's, it's a running around. Let's see, how fast do you swim? I think we said it was 45 feet. Well, let me go. I think I have the frog necklace here. It's like the devil's probably right there. Uh, you gain a swim speed equal to your walking speed, which is 30? 30, no, 60 feet. I get 60 feet for one week. Oh, okay. Well, it's you reach the bottom before uh, the, the turn, so that's fine. And... Huh? Before eight minutes, finish a lap around. <laughs> um, how fast can you swim? <laughs> I'm gonna say that in one round you're gonna be able to swim I like. Could be based off like movement speed. Like a, like a quarter to a third of, a, of the way around. Okay, not quite a half. So as you're swimming, you're looking down. You can't see. You can see the sides. It starts to curve, and you can see it kind of go away, but you can't see the bottom. Okay. After a certain amount of time, okay. the pond itself goes very quickly from being shallow to deep. So the 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 edge of it goes down very fast. So you went right into the middle and went right down, and you hit the bottom. And the bottom of this is um, it's all stone. It's smooth stone. There's no like um, vegetation or anything of like that in here at all. It's a smooth rock at the bottom. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll look, search around going up. Just You're just going to circle and go yeah. up as you're going around? Mm -hmm. Okay. What an intelligent group. Two different swimming methods at once. <laughs> Dive down and raccoon. Yep. <laughs> All right. Are you going to continue around? Okay. So I'm going to put you like right over in this area. Why is my thing doing? Reedy's so sort of right kinda, into this area. Reedy's going to kind of slap the water. Yeah. Where are you slapping the water? Just at the very end. Wet edge, oh, where in this pool? Dead. Just anywhere? Just right there. Okay. Just right there, you know. All right. I hope that the edge just, of the water would He's just kind of trying to move the water out of the way. What are you doing? I'm, I'm going okay. to do the same thing, but right where the statue is. Right. So you're splashing the water at the at behind the statue. Okay. 
but you splash it, but you can see down, but that's it. You see down and eventually it disappears. So the only person that's right now can see anything at the bottom is you. How long can you hold your breath? Do you remember? I think it's like, yeah, a long time. Yeah, so, okay. Well, you probably can hold it like 30 seconds to a minute. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm just going to keep looking around to see if I can find a chest. Can't panic, you can't breathe. Okay, go ahead and roll at this point. I'm not going to monkey with it too much more. A nat one. I lose half my hit points. Uh, 18. For rolling that one. Is that when you're a Is that right? Oh, wait, no, that's only in combat. I'm going to use my. Uh, uh, I have the Empress thing that lets me re roll uh, up to three ones. How much water can you shake with shaped water? But I got the fucking office. Fucking hot, oh, goddamn. Eight. And what did you roll? Uh, 19. What did N roll? Oh, I didn't roll for N. Hold on. I'm sorry, W. Oh, W's W got a 19. All right. Is there so as you're swimming around, W yes. swimming around, you come back. You come back this way towards where the statue is. And as the, the, the bottom is extending up, you can see down in the bottom what looks like is a, a box. Ooh, I'm going to grab the box. I'm okay, gonna so up. you're going to lift the box up. Mm -hmm. There's, it's, uh, it's chained tight, and there's chains around the box itself. You lift it up. Go ahead and roll your strength. You just need to beat a 10. 12 plus 1, 13. All right, so you're able to lift it up and carry it to the top of the water. I found something, guys. I found a box. It's a Okay. Good job. Thank you. All right. So I'm talking about. In. Tell me what you do with your box. Uh, it's Is it locked? The box is locked, and it's got chain wrapped around it, but... It's all pristine. It's like the waters have been protecting it and taking care of it. It is not like rusted. I would read what it The wood, it's made out of wood. It's it's very tight. Okay. It just says, says that. It's approximately like, uh, um, I'm going to say it's approximately 20 inches by about 10 inches. This one I'm assuming is going to be about a book. It says knowledge of the ancients will help you better understand. Yeah. Maybe it's a straw that Anyone already. can open a lock. Guards can, but it will be very bad. It won't right, be exactly. it won't be comfortable opening a lock. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be punching it. Bruce is gonna be punching this lock. One thing you don't have oh, he can, he shape can water shape and water I, and freeze the lock. And break it. Yeah. Freeze the lock. Hmm. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do we it. Can, okay. It's a cantrip. It costs nothing. Is it a cantrip? Yes. Okay. So you break the lock. Yes. Yes. You can unlock it. It's a padlock. You can take the lock off and you can unwrap the chains. Actually, what I decided to do is I, I will create an exact copy of the key out of the lock. <laughs> oh, make the lock no. arm into the key and create it. That's interesting, yes. but you don't have to do that. That's okay. That's my. <laughs> All right. what I did. No, you can't take this At from At this me. point, you've got the chain <laughs> unwrapped. With Everything it. is tight. Are you going to open it? I'm going to open it. Why not? Inside. Boom, we finally got one. Look, it's right over the middle. This is wrapped inside. It's airtight, and it is completely dry. Okay, I can check that one off the list. Oh, man, we finally got one of the major objects. Ooh, that's Ooh it's Whoa, fancy. Huh? It's like opening a Christmas present. Huh? It's not fancy. It's wrapped big and big. Ooh. Oh shit! Oh, that's cool. Hey, how do you know that's not special? What? I'm just kidding. It's a paper that keeps shit dry. <laughs> it's a fact. It keeps Whoa. your shit dry. There's a lady. Oh, it's Tatiana, maybe. Oh, it is. That's Irina. You recognize it as Irina. Don't you hear me? What is that loud? Last time that happened, they look at the dead. It is. Oh, it's it's right the dead. And though we are separated now, it shall not be for an eternity. I will find you. I guess it is Tatiana. It shall rain forever. Yeah. Oh, it's not full. This is cool. Somebody didn't finish the journal. So what does it look like to you? To you? The tome of Strahd von Zarevich, Count of Harovia and Lord of the Castle. It's his diary! Very good. Now we can know who he has a crush on. I, I guessed it. It was his diary. Now we'll know who he has a crush on and who he hates. Maybe oh, it is the crest more. of the raven, which is the crest of his family. 
And he would put a picture of his beloved oh, in. Oh, it's bookmarker. How much did this cost? Too much. <laughs> Too much money. Too much. Yeah, it's <laughs> worth it, isn't it? Aren't you worth it? I'm not one that was. This is for me. This is fair. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This is where we're going to end it tonight. It's actually pretty funny. Everybody <laughs> will raise a level except Anne. Woo! Wow! Yeah. Yeah. That that moves, I believe that moves. Oh, amazing! Well, you've made a major. You've 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 gotten a major. Oh, master. milestone! Master. Woo! Now, do I finally become a wizard? I know. <laughs> Multi You'll find class. out. Two You'll find class. out. At level six, the, the, you can become a wizard. Yeah, I'd be level you multi class. Okay, but I would have the worst stats possible, and it would be fucking great. It's up to you. You won't be able to cast anything when you're rich. <laughs> so no, congratulations no. on your first Thank milestone. You. We got one. Your first. Check the one off the list. Check the one off the list. list. Now read it back, and does it make sense? Did it make sense? Yes, it did. Okay, because I wrote the it pretty much. Of the land, yeah. So it wasn't on the land. It's interesting. You thought it was buried in That's the land. That's pretty cool. That was interesting. So the confines of the land means surrounding the land, which it is. That's cool, though, right? Look at how cool it is. Yeah, the book's nice. nice. Yeah, I, I didn't make it. What what it's probably the material. Huh? What are you doing? It's this book? material. Well, I'll read it first. And I'll read yeah, it yeah. Yeah. Like, go, go ahead. You read it first. Well, what it would never be such a thing. It's such a book. Okay. So, uh, next week, we'll be back. Woo! And, uh... We might find surprising things. I can tell you that, change. basically, um, you found what you needed to find here at the shrine, so... And it was up to your your persuasion, so uh, I hope you guys are okay with it, because it was really your persuasion as it's determining who deter yeah. determines what happens with her. So it's, it's up to you guys to determine it, if you want her to continue with you or not. It's, a, it's like a moral debate at the end of the day uh -huh. for that. Because I, I would argue that neither of them was necessarily the right decision. For so I'll, I'll tell you this. A lot of teams are – a lot of the history is both sides. There's people that want Irina to be part of the team yeah. and go through it all. And then there's other people like you guys that say she's a load. She's a load. Get rid of her. Yeah. I really wouldn't have known, but she looks like a pain in the ass. I oh, thought it was the best. She's I, with her, her original lover. Huh? Yeah, She's but now but now the body is without a soul. It, yeah. It's like a mix kind of soul emotionalist. Plus yeah. now she won't have to suffer if we fail going through it you all. You think over we're gonna again. fail? Wow, Sarah. You think that little of our group that She's we'd fail? Come on, Sarah. Have faith. Okay. I can't believe so, how can we have someone in our party who just became a nobody? So things are <laughs> really, really. Kind of. I mean, in a way, in a way. Sorry. Well, you know, I chose to do. I chose to do the thing where she becomes a shell. So you'll now have to do, to, to figure out what to do with that. <laughs> Other people just have her go away and she's gone. That's what I. Do. But that didn't make sense to me. There's a lot of people that say that this is that's like a shitty end to her as your big quest. It's like, okay, you get rid of her, now what do you do? I'm the bad guy. You, that's why you have other things going on. The original Curse of Strahd. My assumption is that she'll turn back to normal one if you kill Strahd. That, no. that would be my She's assumption. Strahd forever. Okay, wow. Really? Well, that was a... He took Tatiana away. He yeah. took her soul. He basically took basically, her soul Basically, what I presume... Wait, but I presume how it works. Her soul is no longer is, combined with the dark. My, my, my thought of it is, is Tatiana's soul, whenever she died, yeah. would go into a body of the soulless. Right. So now that her soul is gone, the body that was originally soulless So she shouldn't soulless. even be alive? She No, she should just be soulless. She's back to what the girl would have originally been. Irina. Okay. Like, that's confusing. It is confusing. Was she even a baby? No, I, you, the, I think the souls Irina are born was, as babies. I think, yeah, I think that's Irina they're born was soulless. supposed to be born as a soul, soulless, but yeah. Tatiana's soul went into There her. you go. That's yeah, very good. Exactly. That's exactly correct. Yeah. There is a purgatory in um, that there's a lot of people that are soulless, and there's bodies that are souls that are waiting to get into one of those bodies to be reincarnated. But what happens is Strahd uses these people as his blood bank. So he, so he immediately kills them again. And what he's doing slowly over time is turning all of the people in Barovia into the soulless husks. So if he does that, he's going to run out of his supply, basically. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, they're not going to be fucking when they're, when they're all. He knows that too. So. Uh, yeah, exactly. So I just want to watch the word burn and die with it. That's kind of sad. Mm-hmm. Well, now we cock blocked him forever. All right, so yeah, next, yeah, next week, yeah. you can... I would have done what we just did, actually, if I had done that. She was never going to come back. That's why I was mixed about it. I wouldn't have done it. It could go either I, way. I thought of it as that now her soul can finally be in rest, rather than having struggles. Did you not hear Lazarus say, you know, you're kind of a pain in the ass anyway? Because where did he get that from? <laughs> you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, I don't want somebody to lose their soul, though. That's different. Well, it's not like they lost their soul. There's a difference between it's, it's don't not, fucking fight, sit in the goddamn closet, and you're going to take your soul away. I, I, play, I played it out with how I made my character. Why don't you be straw and you put his soul in the closet? I has stuff going on that you guys don't know. I personally thought it was better off for her. I would not have done that. I personally wouldn't have done that. I don't know. Personally, I it's just, it's it. a, you know, you just don't, there's no right or wrong. It's I just basically, wrong. that's huh? why I talked about I think what we well, there's, well, okay, Mike. Well, you eliminated. Is it it's fair? Fair? But, no, 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 Mike. Is it fair to Tatiana, though? Because we're trapping her forever by letting her stay there. We're potentially, you're, the dilemma is next. I don't care about her. It's a, she it's had a her life. I don't care about her. What well, if you had a soul when you die? Would you rather be okay being trapped forever? Would you rather be incarnated and potentially tormented forever? Yes. Every reincarnation? If that's, if that, if, I don't know how it happened, but sure. If that's how it happened. You don't know how it happened? Maybe you will find out. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. So why don't you, I don't good my we baby, ma- why don't we do part two? We team up with Strada as a way to get her soul back. And we spend the next rest of the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> we <can touch> you <laughs> Hi, we've come, we, we kind of made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I did uh, uh, oh my here's Irina. Hey, hey, hey party Strat. girl. Hey, you party girl. Strat. You can't. You can't. She's touch not it. the same. You can't touch the water, but we can. We can try and get her back from the fucking mirror people. We, we already made our. Uh, we made our bed. We got to lie in it. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Like I'm okay with it. Well, I presume I'm my okay. whole thing is gone. I'm okay. With too. I feel bad for Irina. Actually. Yeah. Well, you should have taken the chimney then. <laughs> I actually live with her story. I thought you didn't give a shit about her. Yeah. Just because I think she's a fucking idiot doesn't mean I want her dead. <laughs> That's okay. the difference. I mean, I she's use you. She's annoying and a saggy shit, yeah. but I don't want to. There you dead. go. See, there you go. Okay. Yeah, what, that, that's like, that's the saddest existence funny. ever. Yeah. You're funny. You don't come on that way. You found, I, I, I figured you guys were going to go, go, no, get away, get out no, of here. I thought it was interesting that you guys were saying, no, 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 wait a minute. We don't want that to happen. I, I thought you no, all no, were going to say goodbye. Go away. No, even though I never once told her she was that way, I basically just gave her the cold hard back. Of the question, I didn't. I never said she was dead weight. I basically said, "Look, she what she would do is she would have to make it worry about her safety." Mm-hmm. Where we, we did. Where we could otherwise put right. that attention to actually fighting back against it. Your, your I, persuasion was the, and, was the strongest. And then I and then you rolled a twenty-one. You and then you I you convinced her. Yeah, yeah. It's basically yeah, on yeah, you. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I don't fucking give a shit. I was the one that different. raised her the question that did she want to do it. I gave her the question. I had heard this. I played it, my character. So, what she, in what game, she did. I, my character, he doesn't even know her, so he doesn't really care. Just outside yeah. of the game, like, yeah. I don't know, I think it's really sad. Well, yeah, what, what you I, did was she is now safe. I was really fucked. Right? We freed her. You freed her, you saved her, yeah. but you have damned everybody else. Right? Well, we damned her, yeah. You damned everybody. I don't even look at it that way. I don't even look at it that way. Hold on. Tatiana's gone. Tatiana is gone. Gone. Now, okay. what is Strahd gonna do? This is his whole thing, right? Well, even if he kills everybody, that to him, that that's pointless. Well, what's he gonna feed on? That's not what he's concerned about. I think he wants. To that's die. the big. That was the he big, big, big sort of thought. Well, how's he gonna die? Okay, at this point, let us kill him. He, if he wants he, to die, he should just let us kill. We should be able to walk up to his ass. He can't die. He but can't you die. can't stake his ass in the heart. You can't even if you stake him. Well, why don't one of us take the curse and kill him? And oh, at this point, if he wants to die, right? Why does he do anything? If he, if he knows he wants to die. Hold on, he didn't want to die. He wanted to be with her. No, they're saying he wants to die now. Well, now because no. now he lost his life. Okay, you know he wants to die. Okay, now. no. Here's well. the thing. Here's the thing. 
He's a measure of reaction is he's probably going to want to kill all of us now. Yeah, he's going to want to just to fucking wreak. Yeah. He's either going to want to wreak havoc or he's just going to go into major depression. Yeah. But oh. here's the thing. What is the point you of wreaking havoc? You just took away everything that he was working for. You just took it away. About that. You didn't think about that? No, no, I'm good about it. Good about oh, okay. Okay. Just See? logic. Okay. Yeah, you know what? You know what? My hair is still a fuck strat over it. Yeah. Just logically from his perspective. You have also no fucked over everybody else. We gave right? Strahd the biggest fuck you. Yeah, we gave him the biggest. I don't care about that. that. Okay. I don't care about Strahd. kill a person, though. Basically. You, also, you also did that to everybody else, though, too. Because he doesn't care about anybody else, right? That's all. I don't know if you guys thought about that, or if it, it probably didn't occur to you. No, I, I, I You did? Okay. My character. I didn't know she was going to be able to come back as like a person. Now she's just a weird husband. Basically, Mike was fine for Irina dipping. He was not okay, or Tatiana dipping. He was not okay for Irina to become a husk. Yeah. I didn't know that was going to happen. Well, Drew decided to roll with the version where she becomes a husk. Yeah. You know, I like that. That's sad. Said, I didn't want that. Well, I just want her out of the fucking way. Well, the decision it, was it, made. It's I made that. No, yeah, I'm and I've left it that way because may, there may be, you know, the, and the reason I did it is this: you guys always find ways to do whatever with. So it's 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 possible that you can use this. Maybe we could find another soul to put her, put, a hus put into the husk. Yeah, but I can, can't I can have soul go in there. Well, yeah, wait, if he's not going to be in the soul back in the hag that has a soul in it. We can show the soul into the, her body. I believe that's gone, isn't it? Yeah, Sal has Oh, yeah. that's true. Uh, that's too bad, because yeah, that's yeah. exactly what that's about. That Shouldn't is. some other soul be able to go in her house? Oh, you guys said that they're just like waiting in a fucking line anyways. They can. There's different ways. You well, just don't know. You, you just don't know how to do that. Okay, well, well, no, God, not he above. might know. Someone, someone in the ether, the God above or whatever, he's like, okay, oh, there's a body now. Oh, well, there's people around. You'll just have to ask okay. around. What we do, uh, we get Strassel and put it into Irina's body. <laughs> then you just make him. He possible. doesn't have a soul. <laughs> he doesn't have. Then we just make him fuckable. That's correct. Yeah. Then you just make him fuckable to me. Like that doesn't solve our problem. <laughs> This I'm is interesting. I'm trying to see a, a man look at what he's saying now. This is fantastic. <laughs> I think that's interesting on your part, though. You no, I don't want people, people dead or a bus. If someone's of, a waste of fucking my, space, that, I want them out of the body. That is kind of like a bitter ending to it, though. Yeah. It's a bitter ending. Well, what you did was... I, mean, I, mean, I, guess you guys, I wanted to change. What you did, I, thought, I thought you guys realized it. What you no, did was I you saved it. Tatiana. I don't give a shit about Tatiana. And everybody else is fucked because well, that was the well, that was the thing that was driving him. And now he's just going to be pissed yeah. off. He's going to be pissed off at everyone. So he's numbers. going to yeah. He's going to what is what is there left yeah. unless you come up with something else? Yeah, bring her back. You don't have her back. You can't bring her back, but you still got Irina. Are you suggesting we take it? Or we make it? I don't know. That's why I left her. I, I, it's up to you. You can take her and put her in a ring, as long as you can put her in a ring. You can do anything. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's right. We put your girlfriend in a fucking ring of holding. You can't see her. There were three options. She stays. She goes. Her soul goes and you keep her, her body. I chose that third one. So it's up to you. There's no right. There's no wrong. That's just some of the ramifications. Yeah. And you're, you are right. He's going to be pissed. Well, oh, of course. You were supposed to protect her. Right, well, I did. You did. I did. Actually, I you did. Lied. I never lied. Actually, you did. Never lied. We protected Tatiana. We protected Tatiana. Yeah. We did what was best for her. We didn't do what was best for yeah. her. That's well, correct. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> However, there's other things going on. Yeah, I hope both. Our whole goal is to, uh... Our whole goal is to kill his You know what? He's team. off the edge, so he's not at his peak. He's gonna be an enraged, uh... Oh, that's true. A monster. That's true. Yes. He's not gonna... He's not gonna... We gotta start. find Count on Count, so then he can take yeah, over. Yeah, we need to get Count on Count. Here. The other things that you've been given, which are the other, you know, quest items and stuff, those are there to, like Sergei told you, those are there to help you. Yeah. You aspire to the... Well, Sergei did say he found all those other forms, too. Mm-hmm. So, then, where did he get? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Maybe we'll talk to his brother. I feel like we should have did that 
Thanks God. God. It's taken a long time to get to this point. I feel like we should have been Things are going to start happening that'll, that'll start yeah, waiting. Exactly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.